I can hear you. I can, Sid can hear like, you too. Oh, maybe it's on program. Do you have program on? How do I get there? Yeah, that's why you don't have it on. Uh, okay. okay, so I'm just hearing us on program because they have my mic up, maybe? It's not just a race, it's an experience. From elite runners to everyday athletes, thousands of people ready to soak in one of the Low Country's most anticipated events. This morning, we bring you live team coverage in the Low Country's only official Cooper River Bridge Run live show. Sponsored in part by Harris Teeter, College of Charleston, The Footstool, and Vapor Apparel. Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us for the 47th annual Cooper River Bridge Run. I'm Katie Sold. It's, uh, what, lights, camera, action? Yep. It is race day. Good morning to you. I'm Tessa Spencer. So glad that you are joining us once again for another race day. We are your official, official, official Cooper River Bridge Run live show for you this morning. And I tell you what, we know that many of you are going to be out here and you're watching. We want to see your experiences at this, at this year's Bridge Run. You can share any photos or videos you have by scanning the QR code on your screen. I mean, we've already been tweeting. Yes, we have. We've been posting. We did uh, the Facebook Live already. Yeah. And another thing you guys should do if you are posting, we have a hashtag for you all to use. It is hashtag CRBRGO. Mm -hmm. Four, like the number four for yeah. News 4, yeah. it. So also be sure to tag us, use the hashtag. Yeah. We've been posting already. A lot of our crews have been posting already that are out the door. Absolutely. And speaking of our crews, they are all over the place this morning. Let's get you guys a look at that route map really quick and the course map. Don't worry, like I said, we've got you covered start to finish. Here's a rundown of where everybody is this morning. Lauren Lennon up at the bus lot, Cheriston Clark in the corrals, Claire Weber and Sonesia Smalls at the base of the bridge, Lisa Wiseman on top of the Ravenel, Trooper Bob at the bottom of the bridge, Scott Eisberg, Webb Wright are going to be at the finish line. And we have so much mm -hmm. more coming to you throughout the morning. It's, yeah. it's, it's the best part of the year, every yeah, year. Absolutely. And today, tens of thousands. Actually, uh, Irv Batten, uh, the race director, gave us the exact number uh, this morning. 31,931 participants, registrants uh, for this year's annual Cooper River Bridge Run. And they're all going to get over it. They're going to be pounding the pavement. That is so exciting. That's almost four or 5,000 more right, than yeah. we saw last, last year. year. We were talking with Irv, I think the goal was like what 26 or 27,000 yeah. mm -hmm. from last year's numbers. They upped it to 30, yeah, and we got close to 32. Right, that's the most since the pandemic, yeah, for some perspective, everybody. And it's going to be so electrifying once they get everything started here. But let's go off because we got to get the runners here to the start line, oh, yeah. And so let's go out to our Lauren Lennon who's at the bus corral out in North Charleston. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Katie and Tessa. Now, there are very few reasons that I'll get up this early, but the Cooper River Bridge Run is a great reason to get up. Now, the vibes out here are great. The spirits are high. We have 
tons of people waiting in line to get on these buses. Our, our cameraman is actually showing you right now. Look at all these lines. This parking lot that extends through this parking lot. We have tons of buses lined up here. Now, I am going to introduce you to a group of people here. So I am with my friends here. What are your names again? Ajay. Jaya. Maya. So tell me kind of what you guys are looking forward to in the race. Uh, I'm looking forward to running with my family. Yeah, same. Just um, having fun, enjoying the view, and yeah, rocking the banana shorts as well. <laughs> I do. Can we get a close-up on his shorts, the banana shorts? And mind you, it is freezing out here. So he's in banana shorts and freezing, but they're banana shorts, so it's okay. They keep you warm. Keep you warm. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about, you guys are racing all together as a family. Talk to me a little bit about that. Are you guys excited? Like, why did you come out here today? Um, well, he ran it last year, and so did he, so they brought us back out here. Yeah, and we're all really excited to just go to Charleston, do something really exciting together. Cool, and now I'm not running in the race, but my friend here is going to lead me in some stretches, time, kind of get you guys warmed up. We're all going to do some stretches. Absolutely. I'm okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Two main stretches for the kids. Two main so stretches. We're going to do a first just like a lunge, like a typical a lunge. lunge. Right? Okay. We're going to go straight forward, so we're going to okay. go. Just like that. I'm really oh, feeling yeah. this one. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Get in there. Yeah. Get in okay. There. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm ready. That's uh oh. Good. Okay. All right. Now I'm thinking just wide, like just. Okay. Okay. Oh, I feel this one. Ten seconds. Actually, for the camera, we'll do five. Here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I'm all stretched out, and I'm not even racing. But <laughs> I'm gonna give it back to you guys at the start line. Maybe we should follow I know. Lauren's, uh, follow Lauren's that, suit, right? Yeah, because that will absolutely <laughs> help us to warm up. I was just saying. We can use a fire pit about right here because I have a, I, I have on I have on uh, four layers. Yeah, we counted. Our field yeah. producer Taven has on four or five. Tessa's got on four or four, five. Yeah. I've got on four or five. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Dave Williams will won't uh, won't hate on us for this. It's not freezing. It certainly no. feels very right. chilly out here. Especially though. with the Especially with the breeze. It's yeah. been going at a pretty uh, good clip. It's to the back of us. Yeah. So that means when the runners take off, that's Hopefully. that's that's in their favor because the wind will be behind them kind of and push so, them. Yeah. Is that I'm it? I'm not a running expert by okay. any means. Neither am I. Maybe when the elites start to warm up, <laughs> yeah. maybe they'll be able to give us some insight on that. Absolutely. I think that'll be very helpful. I actually saw a guy doing some some, jo some okay. jogging up some and down warm up. Here Okay. Now we want to toss it uh, to our Claire Weber and Sedacious Smalls, and they are where? They are on the Mount Pleasant side of the Ravenel. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Good morning. Katie and Tessa. <laughs> it's bright and early. It's actually still kind of dark out. Yeah, it's still kind of dark, but it, it, it is freezing, so maybe we should do some stretches over here. It's, it's a breeze. <laughs> Absolutely. We're here. We're on the bottom of the bridge on the Mount Pleasant side. Bridge still open right now, but soon it's going to be closed. We're going to have so many runners going on that bridge. It's going to be a sea of colors, I'm sure. It's truly the calm before the storm of racers. <laughs> Absolutely. Here on the Mount Pleasant side, there's honestly a good amount of ground that these racers are going to have to cover before they actually even get up onto the bridge. So I'm assuming people are going to want to start out slow, not use too much energy at the beginning of the race so they can get that uphill climb up the bridge. Yeah, I mean, I can't say I'm a racer, but I know like this, I don't, I don't know, imagine this weather is the best. It's kind of dry, I'd say. So um, what do you, ex what do you, what do you think is the best thing that these racers should kind of prepare for? Absolutely. I'm glad you asked, Sid. We actually talked with the race director earlier this week and he gave us his best advice for any first time racers today. Don't go out too fast. First mile is uh, kind of flat. The second mile is all up the bridge straight up the bridge all right straight up the bridge you heard him you don't want to start out too fast and exhaust all your energy right and I think it's simple enough actually so I, I think I could do that I think I'll probably start stretching and then y'all will see me running up the bridge so oh, we've got we've got Sid signed up to run maybe it's a secret Shh. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a beautiful view behind us of that bridge. It's going to be filled with nearly 32,000 people pretty soon here in the morning. So stay with us for more of that coverage on your official Bridge Run show. We're going to send it back to Katie and Tessa. Oh,
All right, well, today, uh, tens of thousands of runners and walkers, I said 31,931, I'm surprised I still remember that, are going to get over. Your brain now. Yeah, exactly, are going to get over the Ravenel Bridge this morning. Well, and for many people, of course, you know this, Tessa, you're yeah. from here. This is a super synonymous with yes. the Holy City at this point. Yeah. And I actually sat down with some of the men who helped build the Ravenel Bridge, and they tell me why this bridge is really going to stand the testament of time and why it is so iconic. This is me uh, checking loads of concrete. Now I'd I'd work 70 to 75 week hours a week because primarily nothing went into this bridge without my okay. Now that's a piece of the rebar that's the steel. Jeffrey Tanike and David Hand still have mementos from when they helped build the Ravenel. So yeah, no, I don't think anybody really wrapped their head around how cool and big it was. Both men worked for Wando Concrete at the time. We built a plant just for this, and it was a central batch plant where all the concrete's mixed in a big drum, dumped in the trucks, hauled to the job, and poured. We were one of the smaller concrete companies in the area at the time, and they wanted somebody local to do it. For four years, they spent nearly every day on site. We did over 300,000 yards of concrete, and um, there's like 58,000 yards of steel. Making sure the concrete was just right to shape and build the iconic bridge. You'd be here at four in the morning sometimes, maybe a, we had all night pours as well. I think I spent two days on the job when we poured the 4,000 yards of concrete. I slept in my truck for three days. So, you know, it was a, from start to finish, a group of hardworking, very old school, hard charging construction guys. Some of the smartest people I've ever met from all over the world. Using new ways to help get the concrete from the plant to the water to the bridge. We had tugboats with two mixing trucks on each barge. So we'd come to the port on the other side, load from our trucks into the trucks on the barge and bring them out to the job. And we literally had people working 24 hours a day, just moving and slightly adjusting traffic patterns to try to tie everything. And that's really when it became, this thing is gonna be its, its own you know, living entity of, of being the bridge and the gateway. Hand and Tanaik say it's one of the safest bridges in the state. I can tell the public though, from the bottom of my heart that this is perhaps the strongest bridge anywhere in the world. And they're still in awe of their work. Yeah, I don't know about praise or thanks because again, it was not about us. It was about, it is a thing. It is a living thing that is a crowning jewel for the low country, the city. Very proud, very proud. I call it my bridge. Well, I'm very proud of it. In, as I said, it took a lot of work, a lot of people involved. This is my crowning achievement, I would say. And the Ravenel Bridge turns 20 next year. Yes. Which is so incredible. <laughs> it's I mean, so young. It's so young. It's not even a full-fledged. It's still in its yet. prime. <laughs> everybody, if you're heading out, bundle up. And if you're staying yes. on your couch, bundle up too. That's right. <laughs> After Harris Teeter, then what? Okay, are they coming back to us? We're tossing a Lauren. Yeah. And, and where's Lauren again? She said like 647. 
Mic check. Testing mic three, check. two, one, this, one, two, three, three, two, one. This is Alyssa. Okay, thank you. Lauren's at the bus lot. Yeah. Okay. Are, uh, are we being tossed to or are we coming out of a... I was hoping y'all were gonna have a heater set up for you guys who are sitting out here. The I didn't whole time. think about it. I forgot. It was cold last year. No, because we just had on our fleece jackets. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Mer, it's in the email. P A I G E H A M E R. Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. And if you, you know, the good part about it that we've been talking about is that it is very cold out here. And joining me right now is Paige Hamer. She's with uh, one of the race sponsors, Harris Teeter. And I looked at Paige and I said, Paige, where's your jacket? <laughs> and I told her that I had to take it off yeah. because I need to make sure I'm representing our team. Exactly. So exactly. See anyone wearing blue? Yeah. They're a part of Team Teeter. Great. Morning. And it's great to see you. I see you at least once a year. Yes. Guaranteed. Yes, <laughs> and, great to be here. <laughs> and, uh, glad to have you. What's the motivation behind Harris Teeter being a sponsor of the race? You know, we love sponsoring community events like this one to pull the community together and to promote a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. and a healthy community. It's really important to Harris Teeter. We love to be a part of uh, events like this one. We've been serving Charleston, the low country. Since the 70s. Wow. Yeah. In the low and in yes. Run, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And what's your favorite part about partnering with the Bridge Run? Oh my gosh, the fun of it. Yeah, isn't it? to be here and support, again, just to support those communities yeah. support Charleston uh, we really just love that so much and to also show our great product product and show our associates doing what they love at the end of the race you yeah. will have apples bananas oranges water that's so all provided by Harris Teeter and yeah. it's our associates who are handing them out to the oh, runners yeah. so it's a really great way to get into our communities not just in our stores but actually be out on the streets and get to talk with customers and you know and I just really I just really love your energy that you're bringing to race day yes oh God. It's such a fun time. It's yeah. an early morning. It's a little chilly out. But when we get to watch the race star, and just, it's, a, it's an iconic moment in Charleston, yeah. and we get to be a part of it. Yeah. You know, we're not just serving here. We're serving this community always yeah. in our grocery stores, in our communities, in any way we can. So we just love to support. All right, Paige Hamer, thank you so much. And thank you to Harris Tita for being one of the sponsors. Let's go now downtown to Marion Square with Mel and Alyssa. Hey, ladies. Hey, Tessa, good morning. The party hasn't started here yet, but uh, I, I feel like I can feel the, the energy in the yeah. air. And like, there's also this like food smell in the air. That I know. I just can't stop talking about. It smells so good out here. So I know the party's going to be just amazing. I know. It's like, it's a mix between like a French fry and like a 
everything bagel. Alyssa and I can't find the food. We're trying to put our finger on it. We can tell you behind us though, Harris Teeter is fully stocked for the racers. We've got um, water cases of water stacked high. We've got bananas, oranges, you name it. They've got it, granola bars. So when people cross the finish line, they'll come in here to Marion Square and get the party started and eat. Yeah. Because after a 10K, I'm you sure want you work food. up an appetite. Yeah, especially after running over a bridge. Yeah, <laughs> we, I just walked like a block and I'm hungry already. <laughs> We've got the band behind us. And that's going to be a big thing that's contributing to the party. There's like uh, food trucks I can see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. And, and, and lots of vendors. So when you come down here, if uh, you're coming down after you, you cross the finish line or you're just coming down to, to, to hang out and check it out, we've got so many vendors out here, lots of free gifts, lots of things you can check out. I think I see some, I don't know if it's pizza over there, you oh. name it, they got it. Yeah. So. I know Lauren is out like with the actual racers yep. right now as she's they're getting the prepared. Lot. She was stretching uh, with <laughs> them. You know, she, I don't know if she's going to get in on the action, but we're going to see what Lauren's doing out there right now. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Mel and Alyssa. I'm trying to stay warm. I'm jogging a little bit in place, but despite it being freezing out here, the excitement is still here from some of the runners. You know, everyone's so excited over here. <laughs> You can just see all this excitement now. I'm going to introduce you to two wonderful ladies. I feel a little underdressed right now. Look at their skirts. Can we just get a zoom in on these beautiful sequin skirts? Now, tell me your names and where you're from. Gina from Hendersonville, North Carolina. Amy from Asheville, North Carolina. North Carolina? Okay, so what brings you down here? Like, why are you so excited to be in this race? Oh, it's our girls' trip to cross the bridge. Yeah. We're celebrating a birthday too. So. Oh my goodness, happy birthday! I'm not gonna sing on camera because I'm not the best singer, but happy birthday from Thank us you. and the News 4 team. <laughs> and then just one more thing, what are you looking forward to most about this race? Oh, just crossing the bridge, seeing the view. And the downtown, yeah. when you get through downtown, this is my sixth or seventh year running it. And when you hit the downtown, just the vibe and the energy, it's just amazing. Wow, sixth and se or seventh year, wow. I haven't done it any year, but this is a great idea for a girl's trip. I mean, <laughs> I hope you guys have fun on your girl's trip. We'll see you at the finish line. I'm going to toss it to Cherison, who's over at the corrals. Hey, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's bridge day, and you know what? It's a great day to be out here. It's a little chilly. I, I might be a wimp. I've got my mittens on this morning, but... You know, once that wind starts blowing, right? Uh, but we're gonna take a little stroll around here. We're at the corrals this morning, right? And one person I've been watching, he doesn't know that I'm coming over to him, but he's over here in a tank top and shorts. How are you this morning? Doing good. Good. Uh, what's your name? Alex. Alex, I'm Cherison. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, you're out here in a tank top and shorts. Are you cold right now? A little bit. A little bit? I know. We just kind of came running up on you like this, right? Yeah. But, you know, is this your first time doing the bridge run or is fourth. this fourth time? Yeah. What's your favorite part about it? I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. <laughs> Are you from here? Uh, from North Charleston. North Charleston. All right. We got a local here, everybody. Um, what are you hoping for for today? You know, you're at the start of the corral here. Just to finish. Yeah? Yeah. You got to just get over it maybe yeah awesome thank you it was nice talking to you and hopefully you start warming up he's been making me cold i've been sitting out here in the median right with sam and i'm shivering so i was watching him and i was like oh my goodness but we've got a crowd hey everyone oh let me let me take this one. how are we feeling yeah. all right we got a full crowd out here already. We're going to get more people. Everybody's pumped. Everybody's trying to stay warm right now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to Tessa and Katie for the time being. Uh, we're going to come back here here shortly once we get more people and once we start warming up. <laughs> oh, most definitely. The folks will be uh, down there with you guys uh, sooner than you think. But we'll be right back with more of the 47th Cooper River Bridge Run on News 4. Photography. Yeah, I don't understand. What's next? Mike check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6
Driving to town, he's driving to Miami, so it was like a pit stop. We went out to the one. Matt got in at 2:15. So you were late like, too. I was like laying there, and I was. I don't have my AirPods in, so I'm going off. Here. Talking into the mic, my mic, his mic. Check one, check two. Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. Thank you so much for tuning in with us this morning. All right, if you watch any of our sports coverage here on News 4, you know this man right here, Jack DeLongchamps. He has called football for us. He's called basketball for us. And now he's calling the race for us. Thanks for joining us this morning, Jack. What a cool experience. Right. I know this morning we're going to get over Mother Nature. Yeah. We're going to get over that bridge. But when they talk about it not just being a race, but being an experience, you can kind of already feel it a little bit. Oh, we feel it certainly, and this wind may or may not play a factor into these racers. You've, you've been studying the elites. What are you watching to the day? So when you talk about like the analytics that go behind these races, the sports change drastically. When you talk about tailwind, right? are they going to be running into this wind, or are they going to be running to it? The big question will be, how do these runners separate themselves from the pack? How will they draft, similar to like a NASCAR race, right? As trivial as it might sound, whether Mother Nature pushes that wind in them will drastically change times by close to 30 to 45 seconds. And we see the wind even ebbing and flowing right now. We're getting nice breaks in the wind, which is great for us, but when to your point, you're trying to run, not so much when you don't know what you're going to get from Mother Nature. And we know we have some winners, I think, coming back to anyone in particular that you've got your eye on. So it's a two-man race in the sense that last year we kind of experienced a, a new deal here at the Cooper River Bridge Run. Adonis Kiyoko and Shadrach Keeter. It's a 31-year-old four-time All-American from Campbell. He wins it last year at 31. But there's a youngster that's running right behind him. Shadrach Keeter basically ran this race from the front, from start to finish, until Kiyoko took that lead with close to just half a mile to go. It was a little bit of an upset in the sense that now Keeter's coming back with a little bit of vengeance this year. It is a revenge tour, in a sense. Come on. I know you're a Taylor Swift fan. It's not the Eras <laughs> Tour this year, the Cooper Bridge Run. I say revenge it's tour because Don Staley and the Gamecocks, they're on their the revenge tour. Game. Shout out to the Lady Gamecocks for that W last night. But on the women's elites as well, I mean, we have such a broad spectrum of runners. I mean, we've seen, I feel like, some locals hit that mark. But on the women's side, these women are fast. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and I think when you look at the women's side, I mentioned the men's elite. We're looking at four to five races that really have a chance to go and dominate this race. The women's side's going to be fun. Similar to the women's basketball bracket where it's wide open this year. We're looking at seven to eight runners with two locals, locals especially at the Masters rank, where like you're going to see a close to 31 minute mile or a race today that'll probably win it in the female elites this year. 31 minute race is insane. Like I could walk 30 minutes and get up the bridge halfway. Like yeah. 31 minute total 10k race time is insane. Jack is going to be, he's the voice of this race for us today, ladies and gentlemen. He is going to be in the pace car, play by play calling the male elites. We will also have a camera in the female elite car, so don't worry, you will still see those female elites as well. You're going to be hanging out with Scotty and Webb at the finish line as well. Don't worry, you'll hear much more of this voice throughout the morning. Jack, thanks for jumping in with us before you got to jump in that truck and stay with us, friends. News 4 is your official Cooper River Bridge Run show. We will be back right after this. Start with me. Ready? Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. Welcome back, everybody. The sun is starting to come up a little bit. Yeah, but it only went up one degree. <laughs> so I left home this morning. It was 47. Oh, wow, it's 48. I mean, hopefully it'll get warmer. Now, we're not running, right? No, so no. we need to keep layered up. Yeah. Uh, one of the health tips from Trident yesterday was for yeah. new runners. Uh, layers that are easy to peel off. Yes, yeah. Because they will get hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. While they're running. So, so hopefully, uh, I'm hoping that will happen to me and I'll get warm and have to, one layer at a time, take it off. So we are bundled up. Yeah. And Trooper Bob is also uh, warm because he's in a vehicle at the base of the Ravenel Bridge <laughs> on the Charleston side. Let's send it over to Trooper Bob this morning. Hey, Bob. Right, hey, good morning. I'm down here at Meeting Street, right at the bottom of the bridge. We're gonna, uh, where the guys make a left-hand turn over towards uh, Marion Square. It's a head up. I'm here with City Council Mike Seekings. Morning. Thanks for being here with me this morning. What's your overall take of the race? Is more a little cool than normal. Happy, happy to be here, 47th run. It's a beautiful morning for a run. By the time everybody gets back downtown, Charleston will be hopping. So great day for the bridge run. If you're not out here, watch it on and come and join us. It's gonna be great. 
Also, what mile marker are we at right now? When these runners come off the bridge and make this left-hand turn, where are we at exactly in the race? We're at the bottom of the bridge right at mile 4.5. Take a left, and it's the long road home. 1.5 miles from here, and you're done. Now, you're a runner yourself. One thing I've seen in the past is I'll see the first runner. Seat runners, when they come through, usually it's 10 minutes before anybody else comes through. Those guys are really fast. They're really fast. By the time I come through, they'll be heading for the airport, right? So looking forward to a good day. They're really fast, world-class runners here, and then 25,000 people behind them. Going to be a great morning. All right, so right now, Meeting Street is shut down by Interstate 26, so you can not come through here. They've got the barrels of uh, hay set up for the for the um, people down with the wheelchairs and right. everything else so they don't go into the building there. Any final words for anyone that's uh, thinking about doing this today that already signed up with the teetering if it's too cold to be out here or not. Now, got your number on, put some gloves on, and come have 6.2 miles of the most fun you can have in Charleston on this morning. So come on out, join us. It's a great day in Charleston. All right, there you have it, guys. I'll send it back to you guys. Thanks. I got it. Take care. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Good morning. It looks like you guys are having a great time out there. The Ravenel Bridge is now closed for the race. While people are warming up, let's take a look at some of the social media posts that we've already seen today. This is from the Charleston City Police Department. And then here's Trooper Bob giving us a, uh, a traffic update saying that Meeting Street is blocked off to traffic right now at uh, I-26. Jared at ABC4 just tweeted a great picture here of the sunrise, a beautiful morning to kick off the Cooper River Bridge Run. Lots of stuff out there, and this is from my colleague, meteorologist Terrison Clark. Happy Bridge Run Day. She is with uh, our photojournalist Sam Griswold. They are at the setup corrals in Mount Pleasant on Coleman Boulevard, and she's wishing everyone nothing but the best and wishing all the participants in the Bridge Run good luck on this fantastic day. We could not have asked for better weather. Let's check in right now with meteorologist Chris Nesbin, keeping an eye on the weather on this early Saturday morning. Chris? Hey, Bill, first off, wonderful to work with you. But uh, secondly, it is a uh, chilly day today. Look at that. First off, the Ravenel finally glowing up. So at least the sun finally joining us. But 47, now 47 certainly is, you know, on the chilly side, but you factor in the winds too, and it feels even colder. So here's the current actual temperatures ranging from 47 down to a 39 Walterboro. But look at that breeze out of the north, 50 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, that, that would do it. That would do it. So we do have a wind chill and it feels like 41. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes, if you're a little chilly or uh, maybe you've got a friend out there and they're texting you going, oh, it's really cold. It's uh, going to be uh, certainly they'll feel it. But hey, at least we've got crystal clear skies back satellite radar. You can hardly tell it's working because it's that clear. And here's what we're expecting the next couple of hours. So we're cold now, but we are going to shake it off and we're going to make it into the 50s as we go through the mid morning and even this afternoon. We're making it into the uh, mid to upper 60s. So not a bad day, not a bad day for a bridge run, just a chilly start. And you know, I'll tell you what, it's going to be uh, it's still cold, at least for a little bit longer, though. Let's go ahead and get an, uh, an update back to uh, Katie and Tessa out there. And ladies, do try to stay warm. 
We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> We're trying. We just got some hand warmers, actually. Yes. Our photographer, actually. Brian Hines. Because it feels like 41. The real MVP <laughs> is Brian Hines with those hand warmers. But, yeah, Tessa's got hers. I'm going to bust yeah. open mine here yes. in the commercial break. And speaking of a break, yeah. we'll be right back. Stay with after us. After this break. <laughs> Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. Hey everyone, so I'm still here at the buses, but we're going to have my cameraman show just how much it's filled up with people. Now these lines are still in the parking lot. The buses are still coming to take them. Um, you know, we still have time to go before the race, but I'm here with a very special group. They've been friends for 30 years. 30 plus years. So I'm going to ask you guys, what are your names? Let's start here. I'm Celeste. I'm Michelle Holiday, Tabitha, Kim Briggs, Teresa. And where are you all from? I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hampton, Virginia. Great Falls, South Carolina. Columbia, South Carolina. Greenville, South Carolina. Now, you guys told me this is a very special trip for you all. And like I mentioned, you guys have been friends for 30 years. So how many times have you run this race and why do you guys keep coming back? We have, this is our third time running the race and it's all love and friendship. I'm um, 30 plus years. We are, um, classmates from South Carolina State University and so we said this is going to be our event that we get together every year and we just love it. It's exercise and then we just love each other and so we just want to be out here and um, just be together yeah. as one. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> perfect. That's a perfect reason to run. Now I'm not going to lie I don't think my friends would make me get up at 6 a.m. and run a race but 
I love that for you guys. A nice race with all of your friends. I'm going to toss it to Cherison, who's at the corrals right now. <laughs> you know, I'm with Lauren on that one, right? It's like... I'm not a runner, clearly, because I'm in five layers of clothes and with mittens. And uh, a lot of people out here are actually, like, in tank top shorts. Um, you know, we've got some outfits already. Check out this lady with the tutu. I love it. Cute little blue tutu. I love your little, I love your little tutu. <laughs> now, I want to show you this one kid, right? He was waving. Come here, little buddy. Listen, you started waving. You knew I was going to put you on the news, right? What's your name? Sam. Sam? Uh, is this your first time participating? Uh-huh. Yeah? Are you excited? <laughs> All right. What's your favorite part uh, so far? Running. Running? Are you going to run with your mom over here, maybe? Yeah. Yeah? All right. <laughs> oh, you're good. Um, what do you have to say to anybody who's watching this morning? Uh, have fun. Uh, yeah, have, have a fun. great day. Yeah. All right. He's a little tired. It's 7 a.m. When I was that young, yeah, when I was that young, I wasn't waking up this early. All right. We got plenty of people. We're out at the crowds this morning. Make sure you come say hi. I'm going to ask one more time. Everybody, how are we feeling? <laughs> I've learned to hold the mic away from my uh, mouth when I'm screaming like that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and send it out to Trooper Bob. Uh, what you got going on out there this morning, Bob? Hey, Chair, so I can tell you it's 50 degrees outside the traffic tracker. I'm inside here. Let's show you the, the bridge here. If you are coming down this way, um, right here in the bottom of the bridge on uh, Meeting Street, um, it is actually closed down right here behind me. I'm going to show you and uh, give you another view here. There we go. Here's a view from the top of the traffic tracker. As you can see, this is Meeting Street. As I was talking to Councilman Seekings here, this is all the hay that they put out for the wheelchair racers. If they come down, there's just a, a buffer between them and the building there in front of them. So that's some good good stuff they do each and every year. And then the first responders here behind me as we uh, try to towards the, send the camera towards uh, Meeting Street. Also, um, some uh, city trucks there blocking the roadway. This is, uh, it should be, uh, they should be closing the bridge here uh, any minute here. Um, so if you are coming down this way, say hi. I'm in the traffic tracker. I'll be outside here in just a minute once I see the runners. One thing's interesting here is I'll see uh, folks coming down here. Also see the wheelchair uh, participants and then the elite runners. When the elite runners come through here, you don't see anybody for 10 minutes. And that's, uh, they're, 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 they're just that fast. But I'll be taking pictures. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. And one thing about this spot, I see the first person and the last person. So I see about 30,000 people here uh, this morning on the, on the Cooper River Bridge Run. All right, I'm going to send it over to uh, Tessa and Katie at the starting line. Yes? Thank you, Trooper Bob. And everyone has such great energy this morning. So well, you got to. You can, and Lauren, <laughs> to stay Sid warm. And yeah, we have to to stay warm. Every we single person our... on this News 4 team is using our energy to stay warm. Exactly. This but it's still going to be a beautiful day, nonetheless. Not a cloud in the sky. I am waiting. The sunrise is always gorgeous it is. in the morning. It is starting to peek out around us here on the starting line. Yeah. It is such a fun moment. We have started to see a lot more people head yeah. our way. We saw some wheelchair racers. Yes, and they always go off first. Yes, so, so yeah. they were coming up and down, getting some getting some reps in here at the start line, which is very yeah. great. And uh, I think we're getting a prayer right now. I don't know if we want to listen in or not. But. You will put your angels around each person here, hold them up, get them over it, be with the runners, the walkers, and the wheelchair folks. And just uh, thank you for the staff and those that have gone for us and continue to make this even the best bridge run in the nation. And your special blessings. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And thank you, Reverend Brock, too. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please stay where you are. Please come over to your caps. At this time, I'd like to introduce the young lady. She's a local lady. She will now offer her very much. Thank you for your support. With the singing of our national anthem, Miss Steffi Bell Lily. Whoa! 
We're getting closer. I can feel it. I can feel the energy is starting to swell. The energy is starting to swell, and we're going to take a quick break while that energy continues to build here at the start line. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. 
Hitling from Knoxville, Tennessee, 43 years old. And you know, with all of the runners and walkers here today, everyone's going to be staying hydrated. They're going to have their water bottles and likely will be leaving them behind. But that is actually some good news for a couple of the local companies. Our web right found out how they're turning trash into trackware. These shirts are hot off the presses, made with material familiar to bridge runners. We've been working with uh, recycled water bottles for probably about 10 years. The bridge run goes through about 80,000 to 100,000 water bottles per year. Vapor Apparel partners with Repower South to turn bottles into race day apparel. The material is processed through a series of uh, machines and optical sorts and robots and effectively we are extracting the materials that we want to extract and recycle. We then take those water bottles they get cleaned and chopped into flake. That flake is then heated and we turn them into nurdles. Those nurdles are then heated uh, into a polymer. That polymer is extruded and then we turn it into yarn. The complex process creates a circular economy making sure nothing is wasted. All of the water bottles from the bridge run are recycled and then uh, reused basically back into the fabrics and the, the shirts and apparel. So the idea is that we are trying to keep water bottles out of landfills, out of waterways. So we feel like we're doing our part to help the sustainability journey. And for this part, Repower does all the work. And you're running the race and you're tired, you know, you may not put the right material in the right bin. If it all goes in one bin, we can process that material and make sure that we get all the bottles. It ends up as a stylish fit and another way to keep the run and the river clean. Outdoors is a big part of Charleston life and, and it's extremely important obviously to take care of that. And so the more that we can do each individually, our little part to, to make it better, that's that's why we're all here. Working for you, Web Right News 4. Time. Can we hear it from the wheelchair racers? I always love those little behind the scenes stories. Yeah. You know, of like yeah. what makes the t shirts and everything else. I think that's so fun. Yeah, yeah um, absolutely. We're some cheering here, Tessa. Give yeah. everybody a, a look at what's happening right now. Yeah, there we go. The announcer is just giving some rules uh, to the wheelchair uh, racers. Yep, so the wheelchair racers and the um, guided racers are lining up behind us. And we just heard yeah. it there one minute until yeah. they head one out. One minute. Which is very exciting. They are, of course, the first racers to head out to get over it. Yes. And we again saw these racers doing some laps earlier, warming up yes. a little bit. Yes, you have to do that. Ready. And it is, because it is 6.2 miles, that slope on that bridge. It, it's a killer to walk it. I was going to say, you, you walk know. it on your break, it works. I, I have done that, and to go from one end just to the other and back is crucial, and sometimes just, just to get to the top of the bridge is a little crucial on some days. Yeah. But these guys are having to do it. The wind, they say, is right over their right shoulder. Um, so we'll see if that, that helps them, helps with their time. But it feels times. like the wind has actually calmed down a, a little bit. bit. Oh, 15 yes. seconds. Okay. 15 <laughs> seconds, everybody. This is the first Everything leg. is starting. There Cheers we go. Are starting. And we've got a crowd lined up yep. on the side here, and they're going to be cheering everybody on. So that's always great for a little motivation to get over it. Go! And they're off. And we're coming you can hear me yelling, scream, are going to be heading towards our cruise yes. very soon. Oh, oh my God, that is so exciting. This is so exciting. This is really when the energy starts to get going right. here. Yes, yes. so yes. exciting. And you know what? They are heading through Mount Pleasant right now because it's a bit of a haul yeah, before it is. you even get to the bridge, yes. I feel like. Yes, exactly. And, and I think the anticipation, I wonder what's going through their minds as they get closer. Yeah. Does their heart rate start to pick up? It's like, okay, here we go. And they really got to start digging because, like you said, that incline to get up there, you know, that that can mess with you if you're not prepared. I think the adrenaline definitely helps, though. I yeah. think for me, as a recreational runner, yeah. I think adrenaline helps me on even, like, a longer run. Yeah. But, you know, I feel like on a day like today when the energy is already so high, that adrenaline probably plays yeah. into it a little bit as well. Absolutely. And it's going to be a great day. We have crews all over this route. I think we're going to try to send it over to Claire Weber. Oh, we're tossing to Bill. I lied. We okay, are back in the studio. studio. Back in the studio. <laughs> hey, Bill. <laughs> 
Ladies, thank you very much. I know it's kind of loud out there, but you have a great view and we'll keep an eye on the wheelchair racers here in the next uh, few minutes. I'm at the big wall in the studio and I get to see all the monitors that we have and uh, our sources that are out in the field are piped in through this big wall. So I get to keep an eye on what Katie and Tessa are doing. I get to see the finish line where Mel and Alyssa are stationed. And then we have our crews out uh, along the race route. There's a trooper Bob's camera there in the traffic tracker. So I get a, a great vantage point of the entire, most of the uh, race uh, line from uh, the beginning, from the starting line in Mount Pleasant, all the way into Marion Square in downtown Charleston. Keeping an eye on the social media posts here from uh, a lot of the folks that are taking part and from my colleagues as well. My friend Lauren Lennon is out there. She is at, this is from a little while ago at the beginning uh, in North Charleston where the school buses were taking people uh, to the starting line. And this is uh, a, a viewer, Scott Bronner. He had re retweeted something that I had tweeted and posted earlier this morning. He with his niece and they are on the bus heading to the start line and my colleague Lisa Weissman. She is on top of the Ravenel Bridge and she is high atop the that beautiful span and she is saying that it is a beautiful day out there and everyone is excited for the Cooper River Bridge run to start and it's basically underway right now. Uh, with the wheelchair racers and we'll check in with them here in the next few minutes. Now let's go back to my colleagues Katie Salt and Tessa Spencer at the starting line on Coleman Boulevard. Ladies, thank you, for running at the thank you Bill and Bill's probably got a great look at all those fun photos. Yeah, that seeing. We're, um, we cannot <laughs> send any in at the moment, but uh, we are watching a people take selfies with that balloon yeah. arch right again behind the camera. Yeah. It's a great vantage point. A lot of selfies in front of the start line because if this is your first time racing, this yeah. is a very big deal. It's probably a very special moment. Yeah. And it's probably just one you want to remember. You know? Yeah, and I see uh, there's another wave of uh, runners being dropped off right now. And they look uh, excited and cold uh, yeah. as they go take their places in their corrals just behind us. All right. It sounds like from our producers in the booth, the wheelchair racers are heading towards our clear weather ah. and Asia Smalls. Oh, there they come. Already they're moving. They're, they're boogieing. And they're at the base of the Ravenel Bridge on the Mount Pleasant side. Ladies, paint the picture for us. What are you seeing over there? Hey, y'all. Well, right now it's still quiet. We're waiting for them. I feel real nervous. I don't know why. I just really want to see them. <laughs> I know. I'm excited to see these wheelchair racers. We're, we're waiting for them to turn the corner, I think. We're not seeing anybody quite yet, but... The sun has come up. It's a beautiful day out. We're ready to see these racers. Actually, like my eye like keeps moving over there because I'm like watching them like a hawk because I want to see them so bad. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to see them. I think they're going to be turning the corner soon. We're going to get to see them head all the way up the bridge. We've got the perfect view right where we are. Just waiting for them to turn around this corner. And yeah, and also now it's the last time you've seen us it was really dark outside but we got the sun out now yeah. it's i would say it's starting to warm up but it's not i would be lying if i did <laughs> there's still a breeze for sure but it is beautiful out it, it's yeah it's it's sunny it's bright we're having fun out here we're waiting for those racers to turn the corner it's going to be a great view yeah, when they do absolutely absolutely I hope everyone's been enjoying like, you know, the cover so far. Well, honestly, Katie and Tesla look seems to have, you know, some something going on. It's, it seems like it's a lot of fun. And honestly, what we want to do is show y'all a different angle of where the races are going to be coming. I'm seeing some lights over here. We're going to walk over because I'm I'm seeing some things happening. They're coming around some motorcycles. So we're going to get off screen so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh-oh, I'm starting to see the racers. I'm starting to see those racers coming through. They are moving. They are ready to get over it. Oh, absolutely moving. All right, when they get over here, we're going to do a nice cheer. <laughs> here we go. They're Alrighty. turning the corner. I got to see a racer right now. I see one. Looks like he's the... F oh, there's two up. Oh, awesome. Woo! This is absolutely awesome. cruising. This is absolutely awesome. It's like I see this all the time on TV, but I'm like seeing it for my for the first time in real life. So this is really, really awesome. Well, I hope they have a great roll through um, the bridge run and we're going to go ahead and send it on back to Katie and Tessa. Oh, and for our own, these are probably the first I know, time they're a lot of newbies. our crew is covering.
Hey everyone, Lisa Wiseman live high atop the Rav bridge just in between the double diamonds. We are on top of the bridge, of course, the uh, focal point of this morning's race. From what I understand, the wheelchair racers uh, have started. So we are in uh, the lanes that uh, aren't being used particularly for the race, but this is where those racers are going to be coming in just a short period of time. But as we uh, we look at that route and what a beautiful view it is too. My uh, photojournalist Jason Ty and I had the chance to uh, to see the sun come up here. Just gorgeous and really not a sight you're able to see all that often, right? Normally it's from the pedestrian lanes, not in the lanes of traffic where we're standing right now. So really cool vantage point uh, for us right here, but let me be your canary in the coal mine. Guys, it is so windy, so chilly up here right now. Hair is blowing all over the place. So if you have a yet to get to the starting line, you might want to pack an extra pair of gloves or a hat, something like that, because it is very windy, very cold. Uh, my nose is running, my eyes are watering, but of course it's going to warm up uh, as those uh, racers take to the course as well. But Police right now, they are in these northbound lanes, just checking things out, making sure that everything is uh, good to go. We have been having, um, we have been seeing some buses come by as well uh, with, uh, with runners, taking them to the start line, taking them to those corral points. Uh, like I said, we do have um, police officers here just checking everything out. We have a DJ about, um, what about 20 20 uh, yards back behind us ready to entertain the crowds as that race gets underway again lisa wiseman high atop the ravenel bridge just in between the double diamonds just the coolest viewpoint for the cooper river bridge run to get underway soon and with that we'll send it back to you thank you we'd like to thank our thank you lisa wow i'm jealous of lisa's view i uh, know i bet you that is beautiful with the sun coming up and the racers coming over it's absolutely beautiful it's just aesthetically this is the most beautiful race i think absolutely and you know like you said with that sun coming up there's also that dj lisa mentioned so yeah. really you're partying at the top the while, of that yeah. bridge yeah. if you needed extra motivation you're gonna get it every step of the way we've got some dancing mascots out yeah, here we're oh yeah the Harris Teeter mascot, we've got a couple other ones. So they're dancing. Yeah, they're absolutely. boogieing. They're and they're warm, too. Yeah. Warm. It's, it is such a great day. Yeah. 7.36, we keep getting the time check here mm -hmm. from the race crew, which is exciting. Oh. That means we have some racers yes. probably lining up and getting ready. I haven't seen any elites quite yet. No, uh, not yet. They, normally, uh, we would see them running up and down right now, kind of warming up. Yeah. Um, we haven't seen that just yet. Not so. yet. But we will. It's, yeah. it's still early. Just the looking. day is still young. We have seen plenty of people walking through yeah. on the barricaded side just to get in the corrals, get lined up. Yes. Get oh, we are seeing some people now jogging on the sidewalk. Oh, there so we go. People are warming yeah. up. Arts Bar and Grill. That patio is popping Packed. Oh. over there. You said people, they had like a breakfast special or something, They do right? have a breakfast special. I was very tempted <laughs> to get it last year. Can we get I, two I to go, not. please? Thank uh, you. <laughs> Brown Fox Coffee. A lot of people yes. fueling up there as well. There was plenty of people here maybe supporting their loved ones who are racing yeah. today. Yes. They're staying warm with coffee. Maybe a nice breakfast sandwich. A yeah. bagel. Maybe that's what Tessa and I will do at some point this yeah, morning. Please, if someone's watching this, yes. <laughs> Donuts would be great also. We'll fuel with the we'll take anything can. at this point. Um, and you know what? Speaking of fuel, it's so yeah. important. We've seen people munching on protein bars. Huh? And um, it's, you know, I hear we're hearing rumblings in our ear now. I'm just need to deviate. The wheelchair racers might be heading towards our Lisa Wiseman. Oh, they wow. Okay. Close. They've made it I to the top. Like they they're are close. Flying. They are. They really are. And they're so strong, yeah. you know, with doing that. And it's just, all, it's really a beautiful sight to see. Let's go check in with Lisa right now. Lisa? All right, folks, we are awaiting the wheelchair racers here high atop the double diamonds. This is Lisa Wiseman, uh, the voice of Lisa Wiseman. We're going to leave that uh, camera trained on the uh, the racers uh, coming up that first hill. Folks, we're about three miles, I'd say, into the race, just between like two and three miles. You see this police escort. 
Their blue lights in the distance there are photojournalist Jason Ty capturing all the best shots of the morning. Again, we are high atop the Ravenel Bridge. Uh, the sun is up, but it is still cold, out. very windy. Uh, just saw a little bit of uh, trash, you know, going by pretty quickly at this point. Uh, with the wind, but you see this uh, nice police escort. We have about eight officers or so I'm counting. Yeah, seven officers on motorcycle. Kind of clearing the way as well. And behind them, if you can see, we have our first wheelchair racer. Good morning, good morning. Those are state troopers that just passed us. This is our first wheelchair racer, our very first racer that we're seeing this morning. Keep it going, let's go. I don't see anyone uh, behind that racer. So he or she is up uh, pretty far. But that is our very first racer of the morning. Very first person likely to uh, complete the race in downtown Charleston. All right, folks, so we are in the lanes that are headed uh, towards Mount Pleasant. The lanes going into downtown Charleston, that is part of the race route. It is so, so windy, so cold up here as well. Uh, not really sure how that's going to affect runners at all. I mean, probably a few miles into the race, what? It's going to feel nice, but depending on what corral you're in, will determine exactly when you step off from that starting line. But let me give you a little bit of a, a lay of the land here. Let me give you a little bit of the lay of the land here. So we are, as I said, in the lanes headed um, in on, on a normal day, right? Not Cooper River the Bridge break. Run Day. Uh, we are in the lanes headed uh, into Mount Pleasant. There are a lot of uh, police officers here just yeah, making sure everything break. is great. We have a DJ setting up in just a bit. And with that, we will send it to break. Hey, more from the Cooper River Bridge Run coming up in just a bit.
Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. All right, the first wheelchair racer just came by here down on Meeting Street, and uh, they just made this left-hand turn. It's hard to see him in the view here, but right behind me is law enforcement and uh, city trucks that are blocking uh, Meeting Street right near Interstate 26. But I have a special guest with me in the vehicle. This is uh, Lance Corporal Nick Pye with the Highway Patrol. Uh, Lance Corporal, thanks for uh, being out here this morning. Hey, good morning. Thank you all for having us. Early morning for you, for sure. Definitely, definitely. Uh, we got a, a lot of troopers out here this, this morning uh, helping with traffic control, assisting the uh, city of Charleston and Mount Pleasant. So very early morning, but we're excited to be here and uh, look forward to it every year. Now, how many troopers are out here? Now, you don't have to give me the exact number, but I know you bring them in from all over the state. Yes, sir. I'd say we have about, you know, 10 to 20 local troopers and then an additional 20 from different parts of the state. And this is one of the assignments to where, you know, number one, you got to love Charleston. So if you're from the upstate, you get the chance to come down and work Charleston. But it's also just a good assignment working the bridge, run, seeing everybody. It's a great day. Have you ever run the bridge? I haven't. It's in the, in the, in the plans, though, sometimes, soon. In uniform or not? <laughs> I, I don't know. These, these, uh, these patrol pants are, are about 98% wool, so I don't know. No, listen, you guys do a great job working with all the other agencies here. It's a big uh, task, and I know you plan way ahead to get this done. Any tips for anyone? People always ask me, what's shut down? I mean, this is the 47th bridge run. I mean, you know, it's the same thing every day, um, every year. But any tips for someone that is uh, coming into Charleston uh, before noon today? Right, so if you're not running the bridge run or you're not coming down to cheer someone on, hopefully if you are doing that, you, you're already here and, and you pre plan But if you're in the Charleston area, listen, Give us a few hours till around lunchtime to get this race over with, get everybody out of here. You're going to come down here, and there's going to be a lot of areas that are that are closed off. For everyone else around the Tri-County area, you got to remember there's a lot of people that's coming in town, and so a lot of pedestrians, and going to be busy everywhere. All right, give you one last look at Meeting Street as if uh, runners and uh, folks would make the left-hand turn onto Meeting from the bridge, and I'll send it back to uh, the starting line there. All right, thank you. Thanks, Bob. It's always great to hear from Lance Corporal, Nick Pye with Highway yes. Patrol. It's always so yes. nice to get that perspective, too. You know, Absolutely. The, the men and women keeping us safe. Mm -hmm. It was always a great interview. Oh, we have to send it up to our Lisa Wise right at the top now. of the bridge. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> hey, everyone. Lisa Wiseman on top of the Ravenel Bridge. We're seeing uh, some of those wheelchair racers uh, pass by now. We have the music going. The DJ just started playing those tunes. Sounding great up here. Everyone in a great mood. Uh, we have uh, lots of police officers here on this side of the barricade, making sure that things go off without a hitch. But you can probably see my hair going wild up here. It is so, so windy. This is probably the windiest part of the entire course, right? Because we're up so high. Pretty chilly as well, but I'd say within the past like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, since we were allowed up here on the bridge, it has warmed up pretty significantly. We have uh, more wheelchair racers too uh, coming this way. Our photojournalist Jason Ty going to swing the camera just to give you a better view of everything that is happening here on the course. Woo! These are our very first few wheelchair racers on the course and their partners. Again, everyone having an awesome time this morning as the very first corrals start. Those wheelchair racers, things going fantastically here high on top, the double diamonds, except for this wind. My gosh, if you don't have a hair tie, I advise you uh, get one if you have long hair because it is so, so windy uh, at this point in time. But hopefully again, that dies down and those temperatures uh, go up. But hey, the energy level and the fun level, that is staying high. That is all that matters right here on race day for the Cooper River Bridge Run. We will have much more coming up after this.
Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. Such a fun morning already. It's a little chilly. I've still got my um, still got my mittens on. Uh, been shivering a little bit, and everybody else out here looking pretty cold. Everybody's kind of jumping around. Like my man right here, he's jumping around to try and stay warm. Uh, you know, we've got people wearing those little foil wrap things, trash bags to try and stay warm. Plenty of stretching going on. You know, we've got we got some people out here having a great time. I mean. I think this is one of my favorite parts about this uh, this event, working at the Bridge Run, right, is everybody's so happy, everybody's so positive. It doesn't matter that, you know, it's very cold out here this morning, but everybody is just having a great time finding the positives in the cold. I mean, it's really just a blast. Um, so, you know, we're going to... It's so fun, and I'm just loving watching them run yeah, and get warm. And this is amazing. Yeah, and it's not only a physical uh, type of task either. It's also a mental, you know? So it's both physically and mentally challenging. But I think they're going to do it. Everyone today that's participating, if they get over it, they've done it. They've already succeeded. And before they get over it, they have to pass by our Claire Weber and Sanisha Smalls who are at the base of the bridge. And again, on that Mount Pleasant side, hey, ladies. Hey, 
y'all. Well, like, like like you said, they do have to pass by us first. And as you can see, the last time you seen us, I didn't have sunglasses on. The sun is out now. It's still cold, though. <laughs> it is. It's a bit cold. Now, you talked about passing us. We just saw those wheelchair racers pass. They were absolutely flying by. It was yeah. so impressive. I actually have not. I've never seen that in real life before, so that was very cool. It was see. amazing. We saw we saw racers, you know, pedaling themselves. We also saw people running and pushing, like, strollers and joggers. Just so impressive. They flew up the bridge, I got to say. I don't know how they were moving that fast. Very impressive. They got up to Lisa and, and Trooper Bob really, really fast from when we first seen them. So, like... They went all the way across yeah. and past Super Bob, yeah. We also talked to a couple. We've seen a couple other racers walking by, heading down this way to where the start line is going to be. Jared can kind of pan the camera this way. That's where some of those racers are walking to get ready to the start line. We talked to some people. They traveled here yeah, for this race. Yeah, she said Asheville, I believe. And this is their second it's their second bridge run. Yeah, they said they did it last year. They came back this year, and they're excited to do it again. Traveled a good couple hours to yeah. be here. Yeah. And honestly, that's not the only we've heard in our ears about Raleigh. North Carolina so we got some North Kakalakis in the house <laughs> we, I'm sure we have many other people from all over coming to the Cooper River Bridge Run um, this is a very popular event and I mean honestly once the people come like when we get the elites and we get like the other people I'm gonna start running y'all are gonna see me trucking <laughs> over that bridge all right and y'all take your screen screen record because you'll see me up on the Cooper River Bridge, all right? <laughs> all right, so it's gonna, so it's gonna, so it's gonna go all the way up the bridge once people get here. We're waiting for some more racers to come by. It's gonna be busy here once they do. Yeah. I think we'll go ahead and send it back. Who are we sending it to? Katie and Tessa? Sorry. Oh, the United States of America. Thank you, ladies. Uh, if I see Sinesia Smalls running up that bridge with the elites, I will pay her $100. Hey, you know, she does have sort of like a, a runner's build, so... She's a petite, yeah. she's thin, and she can yeah. crush it with those elites. Oh, absolutely. Elites, again, yeah, so join I us. love watching them warm up. Yeah. We're hearing some of their first statistics right now. Oh, man. Yes. And, you know, the sun is coming up. Yeah. The wind is still out, but I feel like because the sun is up, it's not as bad. Right. Not as bad. Any little warmth we can take, that's fine. My my hand warmers. We you have, we're sharing things. We are we have on our matching sneakers, and we uh, I have the left hand for the uh, the warmers, and you've got the other one. So, so we're about we two go. minutes out from the race, and the chopper is literally hovering wow. right there. Four is yes. hovering today. Right there. I think that's the closest I've ever seen it. Well, and these elites, they're ready. They are ready. These women and men. And remember, we do have a GoPro that will be feeding live. Video and a live feed yeah. from the women's car, I believe. Yes, uh, that's what we're hearing. Shop yes, in the pace car. He will pretty much take over. He'll take over the after that. Yeah. Are off. It's all due, Jack. So I hope you're ready, buddy. Yeah, and, and, uh, and uninterrupted. Uninterrupted elite yep. coverage. This is going to be such a fun day. We're, it will I think be. about a minute and a half out right now. Our yeah. Elite the elites are getting ready. And shouts out to the announcer, the race announcer, who has to keep up with all of this. <laughs> he's keeping us. He's keeping us in check because now we are under a minute out. We are under a minute out. We can hear from our clear and sit in our ear. We're, yep. They're getting the crowd already on their end. Okay. So people are getting ready. People are people are here to watch. Again, this is a huge race. Right. And what I've also noticed more this year, we have more sideline uh, viewers, uh, uh, people watching uh, the race. So, so for sure. Uh, oh, oh my gosh! Look at them behind us. And, and, we're, and we're sitting in the middle of. It, it's such a rush when they <laughs> when they go past. Tessa and I might have to do the countdown with everybody. I this think so. This might be fun. We are getting ready. We are less Here we than go. 30 seconds 15, seconds, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. And counting. And counting. We've got all angles covered once this race starts, everybody. So yes. I hope you're ready for it. <laughs> Runner set. set. Let's go to Jack. Gentlemen, we're off to the races. Heel meets toe. Shoe meets pavement. Let's get ready to rumble. The Cooper River Bridge on the 47th annual. 
you want to talk about getting over the bridge, our common theme, but to me, look what it means to the Charleston community. This isn't just a race, but this is an experience. We appreciate you, Katie and Tessa, as you toss it on over. And as we are in the very infancy of the 47th annual bridge run, we'll get you a little highlight as the male elites have kind of begun to separate themselves. And that'll become the common theme once we get to the top of the bridge. So I spoke about it a little bit in the open, but this idea that a little bit of a two-man race, when you look at last year's champion, Athanas Kyoko, finished fifth in the 10K at the 2022 NCAA champions. He was an All-American four times at Campbell University, and his MO and during the Charleston Bridge run was, I want to, so I'll try. I can, therefore I will. And last year, he will himself to what was one of the more exciting finishes in the bridge runs history. Shadrach Keeter, who led from start to finish a year ago, was overtaken by Kyoko. He was the runner up. He finished third in the bridge run in 2022. He continues to get better. He's just 23 years old from Kenya. He's somebody to keep your eye on as that pack still remains tight here in this first half mile. For Kyoko looking to become the sixth back-to-back -back winner in the history of the event, the first since 2019. For Shadrach Keeter, at just 23 years old, looking to upset the veteran, and he's got a tall task in front of him. We mentioned a four-time All-American, a 10-time Big South selection, an All-Decade Team selection, a proud sponsor of ON. Athanas Kiyoko was kind of sought after as the guy that has the ability to win this race today. Now, when you look at the Rolodex of runners as well, how could you not talk about David Bett? Bett, a 31-year-old from Kenya, won this race in 2022, finished seventh a year ago, was a world junior champion close to 14 years ago. And we'll dive into those men's elite in a bit, but the female racers, that wave has just taken off as well. Excited this year to bring you a little exclusive coverage from that high-rise sweet dune buggy. We're excited with an awesome crew in the back of the Surf Pro truck, but we'll drop in some nice split screens of the female elites today, some studs in that wave as we'll be able to show you the finish as well. We mentioned David Bett as that tight pack continues as we are still on Coleman Boulevard. Another name to keep an eye on, Taylor, Tyler McCandles. He's kind of the veteran of this group, a Fort Collins, Colorado native, has traveled across the entire country and all American at Penn State University. Sit alongside Andrew Miller, did a great piece on him this week. Told us that he did 90 to 100 miles weekly. He said he runs more than he puts miles on his car in a week span. A four time Olympic marathon trials qualifier. He finished fifth actually a year ago in this event. 430, 435. Well, we've just reached our first mile break. We're going to send you to a quick break. Thanks to our sponsors, we'll be right back on the other side of this quick one. Our love of food starts before the table. It starts with love from the people who prepare it to the people who go the extra mile to make sure every ingredient is the best it can be all the way to the source. Because when we show our love, it helps you Show yours in food with love. Harris Teeter. So we welcome you back in those first mile splits right around 435. And it's a guy that we hadn't mentioned yet. It's Peter Najero. The 31 year old Kenyan is really well recognized for his 60 minute half marathon time, which 
seems hard to comprehend. If you gave me an hour to run, I don't know if I could finish one. And that's the beauty of this event. I think a lot of us that are tuning in for the first times are casual to the running community. We're not going to sit here and try to pretend like we know. We can do our homework, our prep work. But when you talk about the Charleston Bridge Run as a whole, it serves as its fabric. fabric. It's backbone. The 47th annual event, when you look at some of the historic significance is back to 1994 when Oprah ran under a pseudonym. Bill Murray fired the cannon and ran in 97. And, and it's a lot of those celebrity type figures that have brought recognition, but more so what it's meant to the community. In 1978, 1,400 runners registered and ran. In 2006, 45,000 runners and then just four years later they had to cap the event at 40,000 today we're looking at close to 32,000 runners registered and as we get close to the precipice of the Ravenel Bridge that elite pack has continued to stay really tight with Peter Najero still at the front Now we mentioned we are casuals in the running community. I can pretend to know what I'm talking about, but what we will be able to identify, which is clear to everyone, is that we are nearing the most difficult part of this race. 5.6 grade slope as we enter the top of the Ravenel, as we're now showing you a quick little split screen of the female racers at the front. You're going to see Everlyn Kemboy, Sarah Knight B, two Kenyans at 28 and 25 year olds respectively. Knight B was a runner up just a year ago, so a little bit of a vengeance tour for herself. Personal best of 33.11 at the 10K event. She actually won the 2022 Broad Street run two years ago in 2022. So she's got the ability and pedigree to win a race of this caliber. As we've now gotten to that slope, we mentioned, how about the runner up from a year ago at Shadrach Keeter starting to amplify the intensity. We mentioned he really did, he led from start to finish a year ago. He spoke with Scott Eisberg and, and how Mother Nature and the elements paid a toll. That headwind versus a tailwind. It's a cold, brisk morning here in Charleston. Yet the wind is settled, but as we've reached the most difficult part of this race, he'll continue to battle as he's now reached about a two pace lead. As we've now reached the beginning of the most difficult part of the race, we're going to send it to another quick break. Tenders and pretenders. Yeah. At Harris Teeter, earning fuel points is like getting gas money just by shopping like you normally do. Every dollar spent, that's a point. Filling a prescription, that's 50 points right there. Become an HT Plus member. Get double the points. At Harris Teeter, food lovers become fuel points lovers. Harris Teeter, in food with love. Peter, Ali, and Peter, and then Jiro. As we welcome you back in a new candidate, at the top of the leaderboard, how about Ali Abdelmana, a 22-year-old from Ethiopia, a silver medalist at the 2021 World Junior Championships in the 3K. He set the world on fire with a personal best of 13-15 in the 5K. He's now in that second place spot right behind Peter Najero. As you're seeing Peter kind of fall behind a bit as he begins to pace himself. You're going to brave the weather with me because, ladies and gentlemen, it's a little windy. It's getting fun. 
As a Charleston native working with ABC News 4 today, a bit of a dream come true to me. But as a local, learned a lot about this bridge in general. It's that 5.6 grade steep slope that we mentioned, but the bridge, 13,000 feet long, 190 feet high, 600 feet to so those beautiful double diamonds at the peak. It's the third longest cable bridge, actually in the Western Hemisphere, built in 2005. And this race, because I guess of its beauty, the aesthetic, what it means to the community, is actually the third largest 10K in the entire country. Fifth largest road race. And it's why you see some of the elite, elite runners partaking year in and year out. We've now reached the very top of the bridge is we've got probably a quarter mile, give or take, before they begin to really pick up steam and head down. Still very early as we're just about two and a half miles in. And this is where you're gonna start to see the festivities pick up. We've got a DJ at the top of the Ravenel. I've got two left feet, so I'll save you all from my brutal dance skills. But we'll continue to brag on Peter Najero, a little bit of a dark horse, someone who we didn't necessarily speak on and do a ton of homework with, but that's the beauty of this race. A guy that's given a little bit of run towards someone who's already won it before, and David Betts. Chadra Keter, who's fallen behind, it's Najero and Abdil Mana. If you want to change the world, you need to change your world. Breathtaking, wave making comfort zone crushing, adrenaline pumping, smile inducing, community building, thought altering, horizon broadening change. Today? 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 That's enough. Tomorrow? Who knows? College of Charleston. Extraordinary happens here. I know that we're coming back in on that beautiful College of Charleston ad read where We've seen some incredible student athletes in the last decade. And, and going into today, me personally, it was the acknowledgement of Campbell University. The Coastal Athletic Conference has supplanted itself as one of the better programs. As we've seen four Campbell Camels in this event, yet not necessarily the top leaderboard as we may have expected. And through mile three, it's been a two-horse race, and maybe not the names you didn't expect. Peter Najero, Ali Abdelmana, a youngster, Ali just 22 years old, a silver medalist in 2021 at the World Junior Championships, but has never really competed at the top of the leaderboard in a race like today. 1424 splits as we've reached mile three. Halfway point. That's the immediate halfway point is, I know if I were running today, I'd be really excited to finish my 5K. I'd go ahead and maybe borrow a skateboard and coast my way through the way through. But these the elite of the elites. Female elites still rumbling as we give you a side box in from our high-rise dune buggy. I, I don't want to call it a golf cart. It's far too cool to be a golf cart. A dune buggy feels more fitting as we take a look in. I believe it's bib number F3, Everlyn Kenboy. The 2023 NCAA 10K champion. She competed at Utah Valley University. That personal best in the championships was 31-28. So obviously she's got the ability indoor 
to dominate on a beautiful day like today. A shout out to all of our sponsors, especially High Rise, High Rise for allowing us to showcase these incredible female athletes as we brave the elements as we are about to exit the bridge as we reach the down slope. The male elite pace car. But our studs up top and the chopper giving us a great aerial view today. I thought like heck to get myself up there. Now that I'm not appreciative of my boys in the back of the truck as we're braving this thing together. But that chopper aerial view, one of the best in the business, it goes into this competition is and their ability to broadcast and stream it at an elite level like these racers. As we get ready to exit the bridge, we're going to toss to another quick break, but don't go anywhere. The fun's just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. Vapor Apparel is Charleston's premier sun protection clothing. The most comfortable UPF 50 plus gear for all your summer adventures. Shop now at vaporapparel.com. As we welcome you back in on the downslope of the Ravenel Bridge. And you can see it's about a 12 second differential between your one and two seeds at the moment. It's Peter Najero with about a four step pace in front of Ali Abdelmana. You know, I, I wish I could tell you I've got 20-20 vision, but I would need a telescope to tell you that there is a dark horse making a little bit of a push in that three seed. We'll keep you updated on who that might be. As we're nearing the mile four marker, we told you going into this thing, it felt like to me, after doing my homework, it was going to be a, a little bit of a revenge tour between Athanas Kyoko and Shadrach Keeter, the champion Kyoko, Keeter the runner up, Keeter just at 23 years old looking to lament himself as a real threat in the perennial running game. Kyoko trying to become just the sixth back-to-back -back champion in the history of the event. In 83 and 84, it was David Branch. In 88, 89, it was Ashley Johnson. 2000, 2001, it was one of the greatest runners we've ever seen in this event. James Koski. 15 and 16, it was Dominic Andoro. And in 2017 and 18, it was Shadrach Cape Cheer Cheer. But today it appears we're going to have a new winner. As we near Meeting Street and the Rainers are now exiting the bridge, this is when it starts to get fun. We told you at the beginning the bridge runs MO. Hey, just get over it. It's the beauty of this event. Everyone's running for different purpose. You turn that purpose into passion. But this is when you start to feel the passion of the Charleston community. Lining the streets of Meeting Street as you gain towards that finish line, you'll start to hear their enthusiasm help push these runners to a different adrenaline and state that they may have not been able to channel into. And look, look at the pace as we've gotten closer. They are stepping on it. Heel toe, now we go. It's about a 15 second differential between Abdul Mana, Najero, and the rest of the group. We don't want to speculate, but it appears in that third place spot who was making quite the push on the downgrade of that 5.4 slope. It might be Alex Masai, a 27 year old Kenyan. His highest finish in this event personally was ninth back in 2022. He was an All-American at Hofstra University. He actually competes for Hoka NAS Elite. His personal best in the 10K is a 27.42. We haven't seen a sub-28 victor 
that since 2019. So as I know, we've now reached Meeting Street. We'll wait to find an answer. We're going to kick it to another quick break. Do you have sore, tired feet? When was the last time you treated your feet to some real comfort? At the Foot Store, we know how important your feet are. That's why we've been in business for over 22 years, putting your feet first. Come in today and let our knowledgeable staff help you find the perfect pair of shoes to support your every step. The Foot Store, where feet come first. Peace, Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached our final home stretch. That was our final ad break. Because you're not going to want to go anywhere. This is our last stretch. It appears that it's going to be who has dominated this event from start to finish, Ali Abdelmana, 22-year-old Ethiopian. Peter Najero looking to become what has been a long reign of dominance for the country of Kenya. When you look at all-time victors in this event, I don't want to speak out of term, but I believe the last Ethiopian to win this race was the Zayn Berhanu. It was the 18th fastest race back in 2002 when he ran it at 28.14. And all of a sudden, you're going to hear me start to get stoked. It's going to be because the city of Charleston is starting to wake up and get going. We can now identify clearly it is Alex Masai in that third place spot. The All-American at Hofstra, the 27-year-old Kenyan, is making maybe one final push as we reach the home stretch. You know, similar in the golf world, those top 10 spots are money spots. And for these elite professional runners that are working week in and week out to pay their bills, to work on those sponsorships, to make sure to come they can compete in these events, you're going to see these two start to really pick up the pace. As we're going to hit a turn from meeting on DeWolf. Our serve pro truck with the best content creators and broadcast group. We're holding on for dear life as these runners are looking to chase us. When you talk about what this race means to not only these athletes, but to the city of Charleston, we told you it's the third largest 10K event in the country, fifth largest road race. But how about a $35 million estimated economic impact on the city of Charleston for restaurants, bars, families, communities, small businesses? <laughs> they mention that everyone's running for a purpose. And the greatest storyteller I know, who actually is fairly familiar with the WCIV family, told me that everyone has a story. Put the story in the hands of the highlight. And for these runners, it appears like it's going to be the young man in the highlight top. Peter Najero, he was tabbed as another guy to watch. An underdog, and he's been spectacular today. We saw him just about half a mile ago running by the incredible volunteers. We want to say thank you to those who have helped out, dedicated their time to the Charleston race and run community. They put on another incredible event. They pass by those water bottles as they're gonna serve close to 82,000 bottles today. But these racers don't need them. They're conditioned, they're trained, and they'll run on the back of the fans here on King Street. As we are really staring down what's gonna be a tight finish. Abdul Mana, Najeru, Ali breathing down the back of Peter Najeru. Last year was one of the tightest finishes we've seen in close to half a decade. It appears that these two are trying to put on quite the show. We mentioned Abdul Mana was a silver medalist in his World Junior Championship three years. Has he learned what it takes to win? Peers down at the watch to see what it is getting to need for one final push. As we 
approach the Francis Marion Hotel, you're going to start to see these crowds really grow. Not just a race and experience, but for these two, it's everything. Someone's going home with a $10,000 winning prize. Last year, Thonis Kyoko, the Campbell four time All American, won this race with a 2903. And based off of these splits, it sure feels like they're going to fly under that number. That's Alex Masai in that third place spot. Competing uh, with Hokan as elite. He separated himself from the rest of the elite racers. We mentioned it going into one of those first ad reads, but racers like Tyler McCandles finished fifth a year ago, a four-time Olympic marathon qualifier. He's a PhD in data science director for Tomorrow IO. So for casual fans, for ourselves, learning not just the sport where I say, hey, throw on a pair of shoes and go. The analytics that have changed the evolution of the sport are night and day. And as we give you a tight look in, a quick little turn in our final turn as we near TD Arena. And how about this push? Ali Abdelmana. Shoulder and shoulder, pace for pace with Peter Jero. Bib numbers 31 and 32 are given everything they have, but how about the push from Najero? It's going to be a blind look, but how about this turn? Man, this is the final full out sprint as we've reached the final stretch. The finish line as they're head and head. Here comes Abdul Mana. Let's kick it to Scotty Eisberg for what a crazy sprinting finish. What a finish. We are going to have a winner of the Cooper River Bridge Run. And is number 32 who actually beats Peter Najero right there. And look at him dropping to his knees, trying to catch his breath. The two of them, the competitors, are trying to hug each other and just say, Great race! They ran the Cooper River Bridge Run, they won the Cooper River Bridge Run, but it is number 32 that wins it. We're going to look him up right now because I don't believe he is listed. We're going to try to catch him up for a quick interview right now. Athena Kyoko is here. Congratulations, David Betts, Ruben Mosin, and James Wobblebaum. Ali Abdelmama is the winner of the Cooper River Bridge Run, a silver medalist in the World Juniors 2021, the championships at the 3K personal best, 1315 for a 5K, and Ali Abdulmana from Ethiopia, a 22-year-old, is your winner of the Cooper River Bridge Run. Let's catch him. How does it feel to win the Cooper River Bridge Run? I, I don't believe he speaks English or he doesn't want to talk, but he's going to go home with the nice fat check. Jack DeLongshaw is going to join us now. I guess our winner doesn't want to talk, but you want to talk. Uh, how was his run up there uh, on the bridge? Well, these were two guys that we didn't anticipate, right? Like when we do our homework, these were kind of the others to watch, the underdog in a sense. It was a two-man race the entire way. But as we neared that final turn back onto Meeting Street, Scotty, it became electric. They were head and shoulders. But that final push was so impressive for a young man that's never won a race of this caliber. He's a 5K really specific dude. He just dominated 10K at the Cooper River Bridge Run. Yeah, when you look at the guys and all the ones that have won before and whatnot, the, I didn't see the beginning. You saw the beginning. Did they just get off to a great start, or what was it? So Athanas Kyoko, the Campbell four-time All-American, was kind of the guy that we thought would be the sixth Cooper River Bridge Run racer to go back-to-back. -to -back. Today, he, he kind of just looked like he was pacing himself, pacing himself, and he wasn't able to get through that steep slope. 
I, Najero, who really dominated start to finish, I don't think he saw Abdelmana in his rear sight until that final turn. So we go and try to find him again. Maybe he does speak some English. We can try to catch him. And uh, maybe he was just out of breath earlier. That's what we're trying to find out. But it looks like the other reporters who were trying to talk to him were not able to get him either. So, uh, you know what happens? It's the Cooper River Bridge Run, so you try to get the winner. But uh, hopefully we'll find the female winner here momentarily when she comes by it should be pretty close to having the female winner of the cooper river bridge run don't want to lose the notes because if you lose the notes you don't have the names of the uh andrew miller from the post and courier is here he's uh waiting to talk were you able to talk to the uh winner or no he just said he was very happy he just said he was very happy andrew miller from the post and courier who just stepped on his own uh recording device just said the winner said he was very happy and moved on so i'm sure he'll be able to cash the check no problem at all and move on but what a great finish it was really the two of them were neck and neck no, bibs number 31 and 32 you don't often see that of course when you look at these bridge you know the uh, the bib numbers they go really in order of who they think is going to be able to win but uh, you know that's the beauty of the cooper river bridge run you just never know who is going to win it but for us the elites are fun we have a lot more fun with those who are going to finish shortly after or a lot after but we do see have uh, a couple of more people running down meeting i'm trying to see if any of them is a female finisher Nicholas and we got we got somebody over here. That is Tyler McCandless uh, who is finishing. But uh, you know what, Jack? I think we have a female finisher right now. We're going to jump over. I think we have a female finisher right now, and it seems to be bib number seven on the females. If I'm not mistaken, bib number seven. That is Sarah Nyby. She is 25 years old from Kenya. She is the runner-up last year. Congratulations. Do we have Sarah Nyby right here? Joy what, what does it feel like to win the Cooper River Bridge Run? Describe the run. Uh, Austin just 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 describe the run. What was it like? I enjoy it. I thank God for giving me strength. And I enjoy it. I thank God for so nice to invite me. How difficult was it with the wind? Uh, today, the wind is summer, not like last year. Uh, I enjoy it. Why do you like She says she enjoyed the race, enjoyed running it. It was certainly, uh, well, I can't tell exactly what her time was, but I don't believe they set any records today by any stretch. I think the wind and the cold probably stopped them from setting some records, but we are now starting to get a couple of the elite runners through. I would say about a hundred have passed uh, male and female so far, and now you'll see kind of the floodgates open. That's when it goes wild, is when the real floodgates open and it gets kind of crazy down here. Uh, we have people just trying to stay warm. That's what you kind of have to do this morning. A couple of people are pulling the little uh, breathe right strips off their nose. How was it up there? Was it uh, pretty tough? It was amazing. It was a perfect day for it. Perfect day yeah. for it. There you go. Ocean City. Where is Maryland or New Jersey? New Jersey, baby. New Jersey. Yeah. Jersey. Do you know Snooky? No. You don't know her? No. Oh. What about the situation? No, it's the situation. What was the situation on the bridge today? I have no idea. It was windy. Well, windy? Windy, yeah. Cold and windy, but was the running conditions pretty decent? It was nice, yeah. Awesome. Nice. Well, congratulations. Thanks for getting over it. We're going to send it back to you guys for a quick second as we regroup down here, and then we'll bring it right back down to the finish line. Deep. 
lots of runners. Everyone's so pumped to be here. I think I am overdressed. I am bundled up while everyone else is all in their running gear, having an awesome time. Now this came just after a high grade, like 5.6% of a grade up here, so I bet a lot of their calves are sore coming up to the top of the Ravenel Bridge. It's like hard for me to talk. My lips are so cold. <laughs> but these runners, you can see it having a great time. Now at this point in the race, there aren't any spectators up here at the top of the Ravenel Bridge, so this band is really livening things up for all these runners who are just having a fantastic time in the Cooper River Bridge Run. Again, very windy, pretty cold, but I mean, everyone you could see, they're in shorts, they're in tank tops. I saw someone with only a little pair of shorts on, no shoes at all either. Hey, hi. And the, the vibe is just fantastic, as it always is for the Cooper River Bridge Run. So we're like a little more than, well, we're like two to three miles in for the race. So maybe some people starting to, to walk a little bit too, but just so much fun, right? Just a blast. So we're on top of the Ravenel Bridge and we'll send it back to you. Hey, Lisa, thanks. It's really a waiting game here at Marion Square. We're like, we've seen a couple folks from the, the wheel, wheelchair group come through, but um, we're still waiting, of course, the elites. Yeah, for finished. the elites to like come in. I know it's gonna, everybody's gonna be cheering them on here in Marion Square. I, I can hear some of the cheers from some of the people that are passing uh, King Street. So a lot of spectators. I know. Oh, we're starting to and hear the music. To hear the <laughs> uh, but I will say, we've got a really cool vantage point here because where we're set up is right next to Hotel Bennett. So we're we're able to see all of the racers come through. Of course, it was super exciting to yeah. see um, the number one and number two round the corner here. You could hear the cheering. There's lots of people with signs, a lot of supporters. Yeah. And then when you look around here, we've got like all the food, all the vendors, lots of free gifts to be handed out, uh, and a lot of great photo ops too. I know, and the sun is just like beautiful. I know. And the weather's nice, it's warmed up. It's so, Mother Nature on full display right now. It's like not a cloud in the sky, and you can probably see it on your screen right here. We've got all the volunteers just <laughs> waiting for people oh, to come in. Yes. Yeah, come on over. Come on over. We've got a racer here. How I'll are let you? you? Let you walk. Yeah. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> Hi, we're we're on ABC News Four right now. What's your name? I'm Dave. Dave, and uh, what group were you in? Well, I got a 25 minute head start, so a lot of people thought I was cheating <laughs> during the entire race, but I, I do Racers for Pacers where we push the kids in the yeah. strollers. Yeah. yeah, we saw some of those folks run through. What was it like crossing the bridge this morning? Uh, it was very windy, um, and it was really cool because I was kind of solo with another girl that was kind of running. Our uh, kids were uh, sick, so they were unable to go, so we ran with the people that were pushing the strollers. But it was just kind of the two of us kind of running solo, leading the pack. Okay, so you were kind of leading the way. Uh, how many Cooper River Bridge runs have you raced before? Well, I've run over the bridge a lot, of, a, a lot, but I've, this is the first time doing it. Okay. Yes. What, what was it like being out here and, you know, taking part in your first race? Well, like, I, I think I'll, the, my biggest takeaway will be all the people curious why we were uh, the only ones running 25 minutes before the race started. So. I'd say that was probably it. Of course, uh, an important group, an important group you represent. Um, what is it like to kind of uh, lead the charge in, in that aspect? I think it's really special because I think this is one of the biggest, you know, 10Ks in the United States and probably in the world. So it's it's, it's really special to kind of be out there early with those kids. And where are you from? Uh, I live here in Charleston. Awesome. Born and raised local? Spartanburg, South Carolina. Okay, close enough. Yeah. Uh, what are you hoping, you know, are you taking in the, the I guess, the, the pre-party here? I know the band's just getting started. Yeah, so I'm going to go up. We're actually doing a Racers for Pacers kind of little party up here at the Hyatt Place. So I'm going to go hang out with them and then probably come back here and meet some other friends that did not get a 25-minute head start. <laughs> Let me see that medal. We haven't it's had a good look sweet. at it look yet. Look at that. Look at that. I like it. Yeah. It's got a little Miami theme. Color, Colorful pelican. I like it a lot. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thanks so much. It's nice talking with you. Yeah, have a great day. Right, you too.
There you have yeah. it. Listen. And he's, he seemed like he had caught his breath. Yeah, I was expecting him to be like out of breath. Yeah. I, feel I ran like maybe 500 <laughs> feet and I'm still out of breath. Yeah. Let's head it over to Scott who is at the finish line right now. Hey, Scott. Yeah, you did. Hey, you know what? We're going to get this guy. He yeah. came over just now. His name is Christopher, and he said, you know what? You interviewed me last year. I want to do it again. So, comparatively speaking to last year, how was it? A lot easier this year. That wind was a lot less uh, uh, crazy than it was last year. So. And what's the thing on your nose? Is that just helping you not snore? Yeah, you asked me last year. It's a uh, Breathe Right nose strip. Uh, I don't have a sponsorship yet, but if y'all want me, let me know. Uh, it just helps open up the airways. Okay, so yeah. when you get up there and you realize it's kind of cold out here, does it bother you or you're like, all right, well, at least I'm not overheating? Yeah, yeah, I'd rather it be a lot cooler than uh, than warmer, for sure. Beautiful. Where are you yeah. from? Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia, there strictly you go. Strictly running. Let's go, baby. Irv Batten, you are the man. I'm going to strictly walk over this way, but oh, but he again. wants a selfie yeah, with me. All right. a selfie again. There you go. There's Thank a you. selfie. All right, sounds good. Let's see who we got here at the finish line. These are still really fast runners. These are really elite runners. These are not people who are a joke. These are people who are finishing in 30, 35 minutes. That's pretty darn good. Let's see if we have anybody interesting we can go and find. How was it? Was it great? Did you really run the Chicago Marathon? I'm from Chicago. You're from Chicago. Chicago. Second time running. This is a great race. Do you come from Chicago to run the Cooper River Bridge run every year? Of course, yeah. Why is that? Uh, just a good time, good training for the Chicago Marathon itself. I know people who run Boston, oh, this is a good right. race for the train on, so go. yeah, it's a good time. Line. All right, well, did you uh, did you think you earned yourself some deep dish pizza tonight? Oh gosh, I hope so. Yeah, you, yeah. Better. you guys have good deep dish here? Better, what? You guys have good deep dish here? We do, we have Detroit style here, we have Chicago style here, and we have New York style here. Sold. Yeah, sold. we have plenty yeah. of pizza in this town. Go enjoy it, have a great day. Hey, how are you? Good, how was the race today? Awesome. Was it good? Yes, sir. Was it tougher than usual? Not as tough as usual? What do you think? Just a wind across the hill about to pull your bib off. But other than that, it was fine. You've done the New York City Marathon this year. What's it like, comparatively speaking, to a smaller city like this? Well, the crowd, is, of course, on the marathon is the whole way in New York. It's just off the bridge here. But it's, it's exciting to hear the crowd holler at you. Is it a little more laid back here, a little more Charleston? Obviously, it's a Charleston feel, but what's it like just to kind of have a laid back 10K like this? Oh, it's nice. It's well done. I say the crowd support here in the city was amazing. Congratulations. Well done, and uh, thanks for getting over it today. Always fun to see who's coming through and what their shirts say. I love looking at the shirts because you never know where, where they've run or what they've done or anything about them. It's always just kind of fun to see what they're representing at the finish line here of the Cooper River Bridge Run. How was it today? Like the weather? Yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Well done getting over it. A couple of uh, club runners from UNC. What's it like to uh, run for the UNC club? What's kind of the deal with the running club? Uh, we went to UNC about, I guess, like eight years ago now. Um, but we like to keep the club spirit going. Just kind of get out here and have fun with each other. Nice. Yeah, you make friends for life. We, uh, we met back in like 2014. We ran this race three times in college and now. We've both done it like seven times since. So. Holy smokes. Yeah. yeah, we see the current club team out here some years, kind of, they're looking at us like dinosaurs at this point, but you know, yeah. we're keeping it going. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, well, hey, congratulations. Tell them to bring the bands back on the bridge, all right? Bring the bring bands, bands back. All right. Yeah, I'll give Hootie and the Blowfish a call. Maybe they'll jump in. Hey, buddy, I think you're one of our younger finishers. How old are you? Nine years old and you just moving, ran please, don't My daughter is 10. She's home watching YouTube videos right now. How was the video? That was not the video, the run. It was good. Was it good? Yeah, I got a little burned out at the beginning. What time did you do? Did you keep it on your watch? Like 43 something. Nice job, buddy. That's a pretty darn good morning for a nine-year-old, I would say. All right. Oh, we got a Buist night. That means you're a smart guy if you went to Buist or you go to Buist. How was it this morning? It was, it was pretty hard, but I got it. So. You got over it? How long have you been training for the run? Um, like five weeks. You've been training only five weeks for it? 
And what do you think, comparatively speaking to your practices, how was it running a, running alongside 40,000 people? It helped me, it helped me run faster, you know, because there are other people and I feel motivated. Awesome. Chip, congratulations. How old are you, bud? 13. 13 years old. That's awesome. Finishing the Cooper River Bridge Run. We'll send it back to you guys for now, and then we'll come right back here to the finish line of the Cooper River Bridge Run. Heading up the bridge. Let's see if we can grab somebody. How are we feeling? Woo! We got Great. Great. So good. Is this your guys' first time running? Have you done it before? Yep. What's that? Is it your first time running? Have no, you done it before? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. This is our tenth time doing it. How's everybody feeling over Great. here? Yeah. We're jacked up. <laughs> They're jacked up. We've got a lot of energy over here. Have you done it before? I've done it before. Fourth time. Let's go. Fourth time, we've got a lot of we got a lot of regulars. They're coming back. They're having a lot of fun out here. Let's see. Can we get someone to say hi? hi. hi. Happy days. Let's go. Woo! Woo it is just amazing, and you can see as you see behind. There's just a sea of people heading up the bridge. So much color. We've got some fun costumes. Everyone's waving to us as they're going by. We're seeing dance moves. How are you guys feeling? Woo! So much energy, it's so much fun. Oh, I see a tutu over here. She's got a pink tutu on, she looks good. Oh, it's so much fun, it's absolutely so much fun. Seeing all the color this way, heading up the bridge, it's just a sea of people. There's not a single space without someone covering it. Everyone's saying hi. She needs some help back there. Oh, it's awesome. All right, let's see. If we look this way, just see a sea of people. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, we're gonna send it. We're gonna send it back to Mel and Alyssa. They're at the finish line, I think, and I bet we've got some people crossing over there right now. Hey guys, we are at Marion Square, and we are here with a, a, a racer who. Oh my, I think had a personal record time, right? What's your name? I am Alex. Alex, and you uh, went to MUSC, you lived here for a few years, and you flew back. Tell us from where. Yeah, so I'm visiting from Seattle. My family's in the upstate in Greenville, so visited them for spring break, and then came down here, spent some time with the family, and then throw in the run. And uh, you're a pediatrician, we got to mention, yep. and you killed it with your time. Tell us what your time was. Yeah, I think 34 minutes and change. Alyssa, that's very fast. You know, <laughs> I don't think I could uh, get past in the halfway in 30 he, minutes. He was uh, he was in the under 40 uh, 40 minute group. Uh, tell us about what it was like taking part in the run. We've got beautiful skies, not a cloud in the sky, nice sunshine. I know it was a little windy at the top of the bridge. Yeah, no, beautiful, beautiful weather conditions. I. Actually, I'm staying with my family on Sullivan's Island, so ran to the start line. Um, but then waiting was the hardest part this morning because it was a bit breezy. But once I started moving, even the wind at the top wasn't too bad. So what was your, what was that, like a two-mile run to the start line from Sullivan's? I think it ended up being just over four. Oh, wait, yeah. okay. You, I, 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 I miscalculated. You ran <laughs> to the start line, and then you ran the race. Yeah. Just, this, this is too much Warming for me. up. I, yeah. <laughs> just a warm up. Um, I, I assume you're a long distance runner, marathoner. Yep, yep. Um, and I'm training for a London Marathon, which is just in over two weeks. So Awesome. Well, this is just a little warm, up for, warm up for you. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> and you. we wish you well in the marathon and, of course, a, a good trip back home. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Have fun. Yeah. And I know now we're going to go over to Lisa Wiseman. She is at the top of the Ravenel. Hey everyone, Lisa Wisen, high atop the Ravenel Bridge, two to three miles into the race. You see everyone here, uh, lots of smiles, lots of happy feet too. Uh, hello, hello, how you doing, how you doing? How's the race going for you so far? Good, tiring. You cold? No. Oh no, they're, they're not cold. Well, we've seen some people in costumes. I saw someone in a Where's Waldo costume. Um, I saw a man dressed up like a, a ballerina as well, a uh, running. But <laughs> good vibes, hot, high atop the bridge here. Definitely still windy. I think I'm um, 
the most overdressed person here on the bridge. How's it going? We're so close to uh, to, to the uh, we're so close to the music too. I was saying before that there's no spectators here on the bridge. So a lot of the people kind of uh, getting their momentum. Hello, hello, how's it going? How's it going? You, you guys cold? How's the race going? All right, good. Hello. But actually my sister, my older sister just passed me a, a second ago too. And I got to talk to her uh, on camera. Her eyes are watering. She's sniffling. People pretty chilly here on top. How's it going? How's the bridge run going so far for you? Wonderful. How's the bridge run going? Wonderful. Wonderful. An amazing experience. How many times have you run? This is my first time. This is your first time. You yes, love it? I love it. Are you cold? No, not all right. at all. Good luck. Good luck. Hey. hey. I just want to promote donate life. Oh, there yeah, you go. but you can donate while you're still living. See, you're Yeah, you I can. I entire outfit. There so you I are. gave a kidney you two did. and a half years ago. And you're, and you're still able to run. You're still, still able, able to, to be physical. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right. Hello, hello. How are you? Uh, oh my gosh, we have a fellow fellow news for you. Yeah. How's it going? Well, it's very good. Is so it far. is it chilly? Yes, at the beginning, but now it's calm, so it's all how good. Hey, how was that? How was that slope, that hill Woo! from Mount, from Mount Pleasant? Very tough. Very, very tough. For me, it's tough, but some people, you know. You gotta stretch out those legs. Yeah. Keep it going. Good All job. Right, good job. You. See you later. See you at work on Monday. <laughs> and with that, folks, we will send it back to you. Where do you live? <laughs> uh, in West Ashley. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, yeah. All right. All right. Hey, we are here with Aaron. Uh, at Marion Square, and Aaron, well, I, I don't know if I should call you Waldo or Aaron. <laughs> I answered it either. <laughs> you are local. You're from West Ashley. Uh, tell us what it was like running. Uh, I mean, it was real cold this morning, so that kind of took some, uh, like, you know, trying to huddle in the crowd, stay warm, the wind. Uh, but the actual run itself was beautiful. I mean, once you started moving, you warmed right up. Yeah. Uh, we did have a little bit of that kind of like headwind on the bridge, so that kind of slowed everybody down a little bit. But, I mean, beautiful day, beautiful run. I was a big fan of it, always am. And you were in the under 40 group, under 40 minutes. What was your time? Yeah, so I, I was sub 40 group. Unfortunately, I did like 40 40, so. <laughs> that's okay, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, was, I was trying to, you know, stay in that group. You were, we you were weaving around people, right? Yeah, oh, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. They, were, they were weaving around me, but <laughs> it was a good time. They, they could see me easily. So. And you said your dad's running, right? Yeah, so he's uh, he's a little bit further back. He's kind of in that walking, running group. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm just going to be hanging out, waiting for him, uh, and then we'll probably go grab some food. And then, so and is this like a family affair? Yeah, 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 so I've been doing it ever since I moved down here. Um, and then slowly, he used to kind of, like, watch me, and then he was like, hey, you know what, I want to give that a go. It seems like fun. And oh, now cool. he's been walking it for, I think, like, like six or so years. And do you do Waldo every year, or what inspired this? So the first few <laughs> years I didn't do it, uh, and then I, have, I had this costume for a while. <laughs> And I was like, you know what, I'm going to get some use out of that. And then I wore it the first year just as a joke. <laughs> and the crowds, because if you're running, nobody really knows who you are. They'll cheer for you. <laughs> uh, but when you have a costume on, they're like, go Waldo. And <laughs> it just gives you so much more energy. And that's like, it, it just makes you fly. Yeah. Awesome. I love that. So that's that's a secret, Alyssa. If we yeah, want to run fast, dress up as Waldo. Aaron, thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good time here. And I, be and I believe we're going to send it out to Sid and Claire. Hey, y'all. Well, listen, I'm on the sidelines, which is also another big part of the bridge run. I want to introduce y'all to my new friend. What's your name? Lars. Lars? So Lars has a really, really cute dog. So we stopped and tell us what brought you out to the bridge run. Uh, I was on vacation and uh, my mom lived here for like half of her life. So she just wanted to come. And I hear that you, you guys are not from here. Where are you guys from? Ohio. Oh, so you traveled kind of far, didn't you? 12 hours. 12 hours, my goodness. And tell, tell me, your what's your dog's name? Blue. Blue. Hey, I want to show y'all, y'all. we had a photo or a video of him up, but he's just so cute with the sunglasses. He's just chilling. He's living his best life. He's watching the racers. <laughs> what else are you going to do for the rest of your day? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I'm going to play in, uh, probably, I'm going to hang out with a band. Are you not going to start running? Like, you should run no. with the racers. No. <laughs> Said no. Next He's, year. Next year? All right, we're gonna look for you then. All right. Okay. All righty. Well, we're gonna go ahead and send it right back to y'all. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Uh, say bye. Bye. <laughs> Try not to
All right, we're back here at the finish line. Let's go walk around and see who we can find in the field here as I turn down my earphones. I almost blew myself out of my own ears right there. Hey guys, how are you? How was the run today, everybody? How was the run? Oh, there's a quick blow up. They don't want to talk to Channel 4. We don't want to talk to them. All good. How was it, guys? Everything good? Good race so far today. All right, let's go through and see what we've got going on here. We got some Clemson fans, a lot of Clemson fans. Also, let's talk a little bit about these runners who are so young. That's the thing that always amazes me, how young some of them are. They are eight, nine years old running the Cooper River Bridge Run. That's always, to me, an amazing thing to to see because they've got the initiative to go out and do it. Why, why, why run so hard when you're eight or nine? Your calories burn themselves, but they seem to want to do it anyway. Hey guys, how are you? How was the run? It was wonderful. You know, wonderful. I broke 50. I'm so happy. I'm a year older and three minutes faster. You know, like so, like I'm heading in a good direction. My name is Christine, and um, I ran this race the first time. Um, I was the second male um, in um, 2013, and I transitioned to female. I was believe in doing it fully. I've had all the surgery, and I'm happy. Last year, I ran 52 minutes, and um, you know now I'm um, 57, and um, I broke 50, so I'm happy. 57 years old and 50 minutes is pretty darn good. Where are you from? Oh, I'm yeah. from Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach? Yeah. I'm, I'll be back next year. My boyfriend, Jim Brower, um, is an avid Cooper River Bridge guy, and he's writing a book on your race. He's writing a book on the race, and um, I have a poetry book coming out also, The, Pri the Princess in the Forest. And I'm wearing this dress, but I'm also wearing a tiara. And he's going to help me publish it in the fall. That's true. My boyfriend. I hear you're the writer. You're the writer here. He's the that Cooper is correct. You, so this book you're writing on the Cooper River Bridge Run, what's it about? Well, I just, obviously, it's about the run, but what is there a sub-story to it? The last five years of racing that I've done, you know? And each time I get a little bit better, and today I was kind of slow. Okay, well, you know, it doesn't matter. You got over it. That's all that matters. That's right. Well, congratulations on getting over it. All right, let's see who else we got out here in the field as we're looking at the people that are finishing the race right now. A lot of people here seem to be pretty darn out of breath, which is uh, indicative of the fact that they were running. Later on in the race, they're not so out of breath. They just enjoyed the day. They walked. They have strollers, whatever else it was. This guy's got a great beard. You've got a phenomenal beard. How is it aerodynamic with the beard on the bridge? It's not very useful. It does a lot of tugging and pulling. Yeah, at least you don't, did you get a lot of snot and everything in well, it? Well, it actually kind of collects a lot of it, which is pretty helpful to be honest, so it's not here. Oh, okay, okay. Do you use like the uh, all the lotions and everything like that? Especially after a run, it's drier than hay now. Yeah, I got you. Well, how was it? You got over it, how was it? This is my first time doing it. Family's done it for uh, generations, honestly. That hill is, uh, it's tough. <laughs> First time doing it, but I'm glad I got through. The question, is it your last time doing it? No, definitely not, definitely not. Awesome, well look who we got here. Mark Embler, how are you, bud? This is who we did a story on this week. Mark is an amazing runner, the 1981 winner of the Cooper River Bridge Run. And you in, what was it, October? Uh, August, August, he broke his, what, femur? Femur, femur, femur and your hip, you had a hip replacement surgery, you said you wanted to get out here, and you did it, what was it like? She made me, my wife made me break an hour, so it was good, it was really fun. For you to get over it, you said the big thing this year, you didn't want to have to be searching and, and seeing who you'd have to beat and looking at times, you just wanted to enjoy it. Did you just enjoy it? I just enjoy it. Now, it was kind of hard the last two miles, and that hurt just as much as the time I wanted. But it was so much fun. Really good. Any pain right now, or are you good? 
No, no, no not in the hip anyway. Not in the hip. There you go. Awesome. Well, your wife is, uh, is yeah, we got to get her in here. And I know we've done a story before about 12 years ago, a former cast member on Survivor. Uh, you survived the Cooper River Bridge run again. Survived it, and we're so grateful. We're just quite emotional, really. Oh, I mean, why is it so emotional for you guys this year? Just, you know, it was a scary thing because it was an accident. It was kind of severe, and we didn't know what the future was going to hold. Even two months ago, we didn't know this would be able to happen. I mean, we're just so grateful and happy. That's why she ran beside me to make sure. <laughs> I said, go, go. She's like, oh, right here. <laughs> that is a, a beautiful couple right there. The Emblers, congratulations. Well done getting over it. Mark was awesome this week when we chatted over in West Ashley, uh, getting ready for the Cooper River Bridge Run. As we take a look through the uh, crowd and just see who else is going uh, to come over. How are you, pal? I'm good. You're good. I just finished strong. My goal is to finish with less than one hour. I did 56, 57 minutes. You crushed it. Great, I killed it. A friend came from all from Atlanta, Georgia. Then I'm over here in Charleston and killing it. Go strong. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Thank you. He did it. Yeah. There you go. You know what? Some people don't want to talk to us. Other ones find us. So why not? If you we're going to uh, go now to Mel Orleans, and she is in uh, Marion Square. Hey, Scott, thank you. We are here with Sharif and Claire, who just crossed the, uh, crossed the finish line uh, a few minutes ago. How's it going, guys? We are so happy to be done. <laughs> and you guys are from Maryland, so you came down. You're visiting family. That's right. Our aunt's here. We came last year. We had a great experience. We had to come back again. No. What was it like uh, taking part in the race this year? I mean, you can't ask for better weather. The wind was on our back over the bridge, so can't complain at all. And it's such a great route. You know, you start with lots of people. Man, that bridge is so long, but then you got the downhill, and when you really need it, two miles, screaming people, it's a perfect route, beautiful weather. And you told me your time, 43 minutes, so I know you guys are runners. Uh, <laughs> is this like a, you know, 10K, is this your, your favorite distance, or you guys like longer distance? What's your favorite? This is pretty long for me. I like the one mile, so I had to hold on a lot. <laughs> well, you guys recovered pretty quickly, I feel like. What was the hardest part? I mean, the bridge is tough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at some point, you you feel like you're never going to get to the top of it. You keep going up and up and up, and then finally, yeah. you get that downhill, and you just go with it. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy the party here at Marion Square. I know it's just getting started because of the band. I was going to say, you probably can yeah. hear it getting started because the music is full blast. But it's a party out here, and we're going to be out here catching everybody who comes through. Uh, now we're going to go over to Claire, I believe Claire, Claire and Sid. And Sid. Oh. Hey y'all, so we actually moved up the bridge a little Woo! bit, so now we are literally, we're basically about to start running now. I told y'all I'm going to start running in a second. It's getting real, real, real busy up here. Let a lot of excited people. How y'all feeling? How you feeling? I see, we got some tank cars everywhere. Hey y'all. There we go. All righty, all righty. There's a lot of energy up here. People are really excited to get up on this bridge. All right, and it looks like as everyone's working this direction, we're gonna go ahead and send it over to Lisa in just a bit. As you can see, we have a lot of racers. Hey y'all, how you doing? All right, I'm gonna send it over to Lisa. Okay, we are live right now on top of the Ravenel Bridge. Hello, just charging up my phone. It's been a long morning, not just for me, but for all these runners out here. Here, why don't you swing that way, Jason? Let me climb back over this uh, barricade. All right, we have lots of people. How's it going? How's it going? The hill is brutal. The hill is brutal, yeah. It's a 5.6% um, grade right coming um from mount pleasant up to the bridge so how's it going how's it going how are you doing how are you great great hey how's hello it wonderful wonderful great are you cold i'm cold it's good <laughs> i'm cold but it is good 
<laughs> yeah, people definitely in great moods uh, up here. They're like between two to three miles in. We see some people stopping at this point, taking like a quick, quick, quick break. Might take a picture or two uh, as well. Definitely enjoying the music that we have. Um, we just saw a police officer quickly go uh, that way along with some police escorts. How's your day going? Yay! How's the race? How's the race? All right, they love it. It's still definitely windy. Uh, my hair is like all over the place. And we've been talking to a lot of people saying, yeah, it is cold. Of course it's cold, but it's better in the sun. And this is probably the windiest point uh, of the entire race. So really it's only downhill from here in a couple different ways, right? They're going into downtown Charleston, a, a more of a slope to go down there. So the hard part really is over. Uh, it's all gravy now. Their shirts say, I'm just, I'm here again just for the mimosas. Okay. So already thinking about the, uh, the, the post race party. Hello. Hello. Hi. You see a lot of people, um, walking. We've seen uh, a lot of people at this point, uh, maybe take a, a few steps before picking up their pace again. How are you? How are you? How's it going? Let me see if I can talk to someone. How's your race going? It's going great. Are you chilly at all? Uh, yeah. It's cold, right? It's windy, cold. windy. <laughs> kind of the same sentiment that we've been hearing from uh, a lot of people, but I said it before and I'll say it again. This is the coolest thing to be on top of the bridge. No cars, well, no cars that are moving at least, um, in the traffic lanes. It's like the neatest thing to look up and see these double diamonds in a way, a vantage point that you never really see, right? Because you're in the, the uh, pedestrian lanes normally if you ever uh, run the, uh, or walk the Ravenel Bridge. How's it going? It is awesome. <laughs> Everyone is loving it. Everyone's loving the music. We have a live band just over my right shoulder here because there's no spectators on the bridge. So it's only runners. They're, they're pumping themselves up. They're keeping themselves uh, pretty happy, pretty cheerful on this bridge. Hello. How's the race going? Wonderful. <laughs> All right, wonderful. We'll send it back to you.
Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. Welcome back to Marion Square. Mel and Alyssa here with Jackson and Patrick. They're First, so energetic to I say know. they just ran this race. First off, I got to shout out to my Knowles here. I saw the Florida State shirt and I said, I got to talk to him. You're from North Charleston. Yeah, I'm from North Charleston, Southville area. I went to Fort Dorchester High School and now I'm at grad school at the College of Charleston. MBA program, go Cougs. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. And, uh, I'm from Pauley's Island, South Carolina. I went to Waccamaw High School and live up in Spartanburg now. Fantastic, and what was it like for all? This was you're a, you were with uh, the swimming team at FSU, yep. yeah. and this is the first time, the second time you've run like in a year. In a year, yeah. Well, and last time I was with him too. Yeah, so we did the bridge like two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay, a little, a little practice. Yeah, it was oh. a half. We went, we went up this side and then back down. We didn't go up the steep side last time, so that was a little different. So what was it like today? Uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, the first like two miles, I thought it would be a little shorter. Uh, but once you got uphill, the downhill was really easy. Yeah. All right, downhill was definitely my favorite part. Yeah. Definitely my favorite part. <laughs> I think it would be a lot of people's favorite parts. <laughs> what was the wind like up there? Uh, it wasn't too bad. It was in our face sometimes, but like it kind of like it circled. So sometimes it was pushing you forward, which was a little helpful. Right. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a big runner, so I don't know how big of a difference. <laughs> like, does the wind make that much of a difference? I don't know. He's not a big yeah. runner, folks, but his time was, what, like 48? 49, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I got to check the app. That's, re that's very yeah. cool. Well, what's very your, like, celebration game plan next? Uh, probably hit a few bars um, and just have a day. Yeah, Carpe yeah, diem, yeah, you know? Yeah, attack the day, yeah. yeah. The day is young. Yeah, the yeah. day is young. What time is it, like 9.30? Uh, yeah, a Perfect. little after 9. Perfect. 9.12. 9.12? can't wow. drink all day if you don't start in the morning. <laughs> That's what I like to say. Thank you guys so much. Thank Congratulations. Have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bye-bye. Right, Alyssa, it is a party. I was going to say, the party is getting started early. You know, usually 9 p.m. is like party time, but 9 a.m. today is when I mean, the party starts. We're, it's so funny. I can see Waldo, who we interviewed <laughs> earlier. Like, you can totally see him uh, in the middle of a crowd. Uh, he's the only Waldo I've seen, but look at it. I mean, it has filled up so fast here at Mary's I know. Square. Every time I turn around, like every 15 seconds, like more people come out. I know. And we've got, of course, the band. I'm liking the music. Yeah. It I'm is like, really good. A little different from last yeah, year. Yeah, dancing a little bit. Yeah, yeah, in place. For sure. And we've got all of the vendors literally just um, <laughs> lined up out yeah. here. Of course, we've got Harris Teeter here. We've got the, the fuel, right? The apples, right, everybody's the oranges, hitting the, the water, bananas. You name it. Uh, it's. You, you can check it out. And um, we've got tons of runners. I feel like now is more of like the popular times people yeah, coming yeah. across, the, the, the larger groups. And then we've got a clear shot out to King Street where we can see uh, just massive packs of people running through. And the sun, of course, is really warming yeah, up Yeah, the sun's peeking through and showing her beautiful face. I it's know, I think I might have to shed the jacket. Yeah, too. yeah, I was thinking, I was like slowly unzipping yeah. my jacket. People are kind of looking at us like, why are you all so bundled up? People are in uh, shorts and, and tank tops here. We're gonna send it over to the finish line. That's where Scott Iceberg is. Hey, Scott. Moving. Congratulations, you did it. Hey, how are you guys? Welcome back to the finish line. How are you guys? Western Carolina basketball. You got a new coach this week. That's good. Let's talk a little bit about running instead of Western Carolina basketball. I don't think there's a, a ton of uh, people of... Uh, hey! Bridge run, baby! Woo! Is like a bachelorette party or what's going on? We're matching. What? We're matching. After parties of Blind Tiger. Well, apparently the after party. Oh, we found Waldo. We found Waldo. How are you? Wonderful. Did you hide into the crowd? Or? I was trying, but you found me. I found you. You were pretty easy to find. Congratulations on getting over it. All right, let's take a look around and see who we've got here at the finish line. Always fun to kind of do. How did I find Waldo? And then I found Waldo. Again, is your wife? Is that your that wife? wife. Yeah, oh, is your wife? wife? Yeah. Okay, that's a very cute. Oh, what? Oh, you, you got the whole sock. You got the whole deal. So, uh, when did you guys decide we're gonna dress up like Waldo together and then split during the race? Well, my wife told me that we're gonna be dressing up together, and then she left me with about half a mile to go. <laughs> well, you made it over. I think you can find her. She's right up in front of you. Congratulations on getting. Oh, we have a very young finisher here. How was the race? Was it good? Does it feel like Lambeau Field? It's so cold out here. What's your name? Okay, I'll ask you all the questions. What's his name? Liam. Liam, and how old? Almost two. Almost two. And I think he was cold. How are you? Warm. 
Wisconsin. Are you from Wisconsin or just give him the hat? No, he's a Packers fan, but we live here. There you go. Awesome. Well, congratulations on getting over it. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, how are you? Whoa, here we go. Here we go. I'll take the jacket. It's good. I'll take the jacket. All right, so let's see who else we've got. Anybody else of interest that's finishing here at the Cooper River Bridge Run finish line? Let's talk a little bit of running. Oh, who do we got? Who's interesting? All right, let's let's uh, let's talk to you because you got selfies, you got cool glasses. How was it up there today? Fantastic. I beat all my PRs. So. Oh, nice. So that's absolutely what? rush of energy today. Yeah, there you go. Crowd's phenomenal. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on getting over it. Who do we have here? Oh, we got a final four. Well, one one pack went down last night, unfortunately. You have a second pack that gets to play tonight. That is correct, and we will beat Purdue. Oh, you're, you're, you're going out and just taking it. You're going DJ Burns over Zach Eady. Absolutely. There you go. Every day. Awesome. Well, you know what the, the best thing I heard last night was at the Gamecocks game in the final four. They played Wagon Wheel over the thing, and Darius Rucker was there. And as soon as they got to the part where they say Raleigh, they cut it off before Raleigh because, of course, they were playing NC State. So I thought that was kind of a fun little story yesterday there at the Final Four. Everyone representing their teams. I think they're telling me to toss it to somebody else, so whoever I'm tossing it to, I'm tossing it to you. Scotty, that's me. Thanks for tossing it over here. We're still on Coleman Boulevard, and I've got two racers with me. What are your guys' names? Nikel Busolati. And Jen. And you guys were telling me this is not your first time. You guys have been doing this for a couple years now. Yeah, this is my 11th bridge run. And yeah, my seventh, I think. Yeah, and we've done, I think, seven together. And but we love it. Yeah, we love it. So much fun. What's your favorite part of race day? Um, probably the party at the end would be my favorite. Yeah, yeah. What, are your, what are your guys' plans for when you cross that finish line? Well, we usually stop off and rehydrate with a Bloody Mary. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> at, at 10 a.m., what yeah, else could exactly. you want? Right. Right, yeah. yeah, so that's our favorite part. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch out when you need a Greenbergs. Yeah, coming we're coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Awesome. Yeah. And you guys were telling me that you guys your friendship goes way back. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it yeah. what it means for you guys to be here doing this together. <laughs> it we, means so much. It really does. We're best friends from college. We went to mm -hmm. and uh, we started this tradition without knowing it was a tradition and now we get to do it together. Every yeah, it's great. Oh awesome. Well yeah. we'll let you guys go get over that bridge, yes. get that Bloody Mary soon. Thanks for stopping with right. us. I'm gonna toss it to Trooper Bob now to see what he's seeing on the other end of the bridge. Have you ever ran the race before? No, I never ran the race before. Hey, I'm here with uh, two runners. Yeah, I'm here with two runners. From, uh, tell me where you're from and what's your name? Uh, my name is Matthew Striffler. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. Um, Jay Eirich. I'm from Wings Corner, South Carolina. Cool. Uh, what was the hardest part of this race? I say all the preparation that I did for it. We, we trained like almost every week, like three times a week probably. So I'd probably say that was it. What um, do you think? I'd say training every single week and also training for the incline was probably the most difficult yeah. part. All right, so you had like four mile marker and you guys are stopped here talking to me. You just yeah. taking a break or you, what are you doing? Uh, we were waiting for our friend. She has a hurt knee, so we were waiting for her. Okay. Yeah. Um, no man left behind. No, yeah, man, no man left, left behind. behind. Cool. You like Charleston? Yeah, I love yes, it Yes, sir. I um, love it here. We go to school here. It's a beautiful city. Yeah, it's great. All right. Hey, fellas, thank you very much. Good job. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank hey, they're going to go find a place. Uh, let me tell you something. Right now, just right before you came to me, there was a, uh, hey, how you doing? Hello. Hello. A lot of people yelling, saying hello. Hey, listen, uh, just before you guys tossed to me, I don't know if you can see it, about 100 yards up is first responders. They all rush to the scene on the left-hand side of the ramp as you're coming down the bridge. EMS, police, and uh, all the first, is Mr. Banana running here, all the first responders ran over there because some people kept yelling that there's somebody down, there's somebody down. So I'm going to get some more information on that and see what we could do uh, to help that person. But again, first responders right on the ramp just before the meeting street, uh, left turn for uh, someone that someone that uh, went down on the, uh, on the ramp. Let me send it over to Mel and Alyssa at the finish line. Mel, Alyssa? All right, Trooper 
Bob, thank you. We certainly hope everybody is okay. Uh, right now we're joined with Matthew and Chandler, who are local College of Charleston currently, oh, uh, and, and you're an alum. And you guys uh, ran across the bridge. How's it, how did it how did it go? It was amazing. It was a beautiful day. It's both of our first times, um, and we had a great time. Yeah. Cool. It started really cold in the morning, and that was that was a bit of a shock. But after getting through it, it was so nice seeing everyone and all the supporters. was amazing. And you guys know a lot of people here. I could see your chat. Yeah. Look at all of your friends. Did all of your friends participate too? Yeah, a lot of our friends participated, but we kind of had to split up different running paces. But it was so glad having so many people. Well, you, you guys so are definitely nice refueling to, like, see everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, running around. I know this is like where the party's at. This place, we're at Marion Square, of course, and it just filled up so quickly. We're talking like packed with yeah. runners, supporters, you name it. And what are your guys' plans for the rest of the day? I actually have two volleyball games. I have to oh, play. Oh wow! I play for the <laughs> no big deal. Oh, awesome. So wow. I have two volleyball games to play, but so this time in between. Definitely gonna relax, have some fun, eat some food, drink some water. Yeah, I was gonna say, grab some more snacks, energize yourself. Exactly. You got a long day ahead. Uh, exactly. Good luck to you. I'm thank gonna be taking a nap. Yeah, good luck to you guys, and thank thanks you. so much for stopping oh, by. We appreciate you so it. Much. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Well, we'll be back after this quick break. <gasps> Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. Hello, 
everyone, Lisa Wiseman, high on top, the Ravenel Bridge, just in between the two double diamonds, the sun just rising over that first double diamond, uh, closest to Mount Pleasant. You see all these runners here enjoying the Cooper River Bridge Run. Uh, how's it going? Great, thank you. Yeah. I've seen, uh, I've seen a lot of people not yet peeling off their base layers. Um, I saw one person in a long winter jacket. Lots of other people too when they come on by um, saying that they are pretty chilly and that this is kind of the worst of the worst. Uh, the wind at least we're talking about. How's your race going today? It's going so much fun! Woo! It doesn't seem to dampen their spirits though uh, whatsoever. Uh, nor is it really many other people that I've seen as well. Some people are bundled up. You're a little bundled up. Yes, I am. It's very cold. It's, it's very, very cold. cold. It's a little yes. windy too. Very isn't it? windy. Yes. <laughs> well, good luck. Day. Have a good run. Have a good run. <laughs> How's it going, ladies? It's going. Oh, it's going. Oh. Are you enjoying your run so far? We are so yes. much fun. And, well, the hot girl walk um, has gotten <laughs> serious this Saturday morning. Really? Yeah. It, do, it has, really. The hawker wa walk has gotten serious. I know, I feel like after all this, I'm going to be like windburned. Is it, have, you, have you guys run the race before? No, this is our first time. time. Yeah, you have goosebumps. <laughs> yes, it's really cold. <laughs> well, you know what? I think those goosebumps. I think it's going, I think it's going to be warmer though. Kind of right. want, once you make the trek downhill. Well, good luck. Have fun. <laughs> All right, we're kind of in the middle of, uh, of all this rush. I'm gonna scoot over to the side a little bit so I don't uh, slow anyone's time down. Um, but yeah, you could, I mean, everyone's face just kind of says it all. Everyone's so happy. Um, oh, wow, look at the, uh, the, the background here. Hey, Jason, if you uh, look to your right, we have uh, people, some, uh, some ladies with boas on their heads. Very cool, nice costume. I think I've said it before, but uh, I saw someone. First timer. Okay, we have a first timer. How's it going? Thumbs up. Okay, I got two thumbs up. How's your bridge run going? One. Thumbs up. Thank you. Good, good. All right, we have uh, someone carrying an American flag coming up as well, but lots of walkers at this point in time, too. It's getting a little uh, busy, too, so sometimes. Uh, if, uh, if anyone is picking up the pace, kind of have to weave and bob in between people. But yeah, carrying the American flag, here we are. All right, well, I'll let all those woos and cheers kind of leave it at that. And we will have much more from the Cooper River Bridge Run coming up just after this.
Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. Welcome back to Marion Square. We are here with Keisha and Angel, and we've got a bride here. All right, Check so it out. celebrating more than just getting over the bridge. There's a lot going on here. This is the Bachelorette Run, right? The bachelorette Run <laughs> and uh, celebration of turning 40. Yes. Yes. Happy birthday. Both y'all just turned 40. Yes, yes. And she said this is a ritual for you. So a ritual. every year. Every yes. year we do it. We're very excited to be here and excited to celebrate. Yes, a local. Uh, you guys, how many years have you done this? This is our third. Yeah, third year doing it together, yeah. And you're kind of prepping for the bachelorette party, which is in Jamaica? In Jamaica, on, starting on the 18th, yeah. So, awesome. It's yeah, going to be so fun. Yeah. A lot going on. So, you know, this is a nice way to get in shape for your bikini season. Yes. Because I always see you working out all the time on social media. I love y'all's outfits, too. Like, very fashionable. Yeah, you guys look great. Two of the best looking runners out there. <laughs> we try, actually. We really try. Well, congratulations and have so much fun. And congratulations on the wedding. Thank you so much. All right, thanks for joining us, guys. All right, let's send it out to uh, Trooper Bob. Hey, Trooper Bob. Hey, watching everyone come down the ramp here. It's still uh, pretty solid here, and it's been like this for over for the last uh, hour. As you can see, as the folks make their way down towards the ramp, towards uh, Meeting Street. Let me give you another view. This is uh, where they make that left hand turn, and uh, we still have first responders on scene. A lot of folks out here cheering everyone on across the street. They, they walked up here, they rode their bicycles, and I'll give you a little view here. The first responders in the roadway is uh, obviously still blocked because of uh, the race. But everyone's having a good time. I'll send it over to uh, our sports anchor there, Scotty Eisberg. Scott. All right, hello, welcome back to the finish line. And Elizabeth just came up to me and said, I want to say hi to my kids at home. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to say your kids at home. Thank you. So I have four kids at home, Asher, Alyssa, Aspen, and baby Ace. They're watching me from home and just want to say hi, kids, and hi to my husband. Where do you guys live? Somerville. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Are they kind of your motivation for running? They are. They are. I love being the example and setting that for my kids. That's awesome. How old are they? Uh, ages seven, four, two, and eight months. Awesome. Well, congratulations on getting over it. Let's see who we've got here as we get over it. And I, I think so far I have seen most, the, the college most represented, NC State, ton of proud NC State fans. Obviously the Carolina Clemson fans are out, College of Charleston has had a ton. But NC State fans certainly proud of their team here in the Final Four, two of their teams in the Final Four. Hey guys, how are you? Congratulations for getting over it. Let's see if there's anybody of, of interest. Oh, let's go, where are we going? Going to get some mimosas after this, you know. You said where? Mimosas. Oh, going to get mimosas. Yeah, yeah. The vibes oh. are immaculate. Right you now. guys don't even look 21. Are you 21? Yeah, we are. Okay, okay, good. 2003 birthdays. 2003. 2003. That's okay. Oh, they're they're right on 21. I want to be on camera. That's all. What did you say? I want to be on camera. That's all. Oh, that's very exciting. There you go. It. She wanted to be on camera. Let's take a look. I see you say donate life. Are, are you are you running? because of any type of uh, organ donation? Uh, well, I'm a living donor. I donated my liver to my college roommate about 11 years ago. That's awesome. Um, so I run for just for people to sign up to be an organ donor. That's awesome. Uh, does it have any ill effect on your running or anything like that? Not at all. No, my, my liver, I gave them two thirds of my liver. Oh, wow. And it grew back to about 95%. Wow. So, congratulations on that. Congratulations right. Thanks, getting guys. over it. Thanks. Have a great one. Hey, guys, how was it? Amazing. Awesome run. Very good. Really is beautiful out here right now. The weather has certainly turned. Elvis, how are you, Elvis? How are you? How you doing, Charlotte? Uh, uh, Charleston, not Charlotte. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody from Charleston. Just love coming up here every year. Wonderful where town. Do you, where do you come from? I come from Daytona Beach, Florida. Really? Yeah. I have a house in Memphis. You've probably heard of it. Graceland. Yeah, yeah you've heard of it. Hey, hey. Thank you very much for doing the interview. Well, thank you very much myself. Hey, absolutely. Did you run in blue suede shoes? Uh, 
Hey, they don't fit too much anymore. That's as close as I can go. Oh, okay. My teeth got too wide, and they, they don't sell them in my size. Oh, got you, got you. Well, congratulations, Elvis, on getting over it. I think I've talked to that Elvis before. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that Elvis I've talked to. Hi, how are you? Run happy? Are you happy you got over Team Taco? Yes! You got the key. The key is tacos. Tacos are always the key. All right, let's see if we got anybody else of interest crossing here before we toss it to the next report. Porter reporting here. We have got anybody interested. Oh, that's kind of cool. You ran it with the GoPro? Yeah, man. That's awesome. Very cool. I like that idea. You can kind of relive the race again. Hey, guys, I got some Gamecocks. Go get them, man. Go get them. Go get them. I'm, I'm, I'm getting them. I didn't have to run anything this morning. Just looking around, seeing if there's anybody else of note. Still running, still running. Obviously, we're getting a little bit to our less elite runners right now. I think they've got the two twos. What what bar are we going to now? What bar? All of them. We have no idea yet. All of them. All oh, of okay. Them. <laughs> oh, you're running. They're running for alcohol. That's the true. That's the true uh, cause that they're running for. All right, we're gonna send it over to Mel Orleans in Marion Square right now. Hey, Scott. We're with Jack who we listened to throughout the whole broadcast yeah. for the elites. And uh, what was your reaction to the finish there? Well, I got to tell you, when we come around the corner, we bail, we kick it to the legend, Scott Eisberg. And it really was a two-man race the entire yeah. way down. But how about, like, for this incredible event, for the entire community, of course it had to come down to photo finish, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I feel like at least um, this is my second bridge run, but last year, totally different, you know? And, and usually you've got, like, a, a, a lead racer, but you were, those guys were neck and neck until the very end. Yeah. The cool part was it was, I, I think we were expecting, like, a little bit of a revenge match from last year with Kyoko. This year was kind of the underdog. So 2024, the year of the underdog. And I think what was really exciting was that elite pack that stays really tight for the deep of the bridge. They ran away from it the minute that they got to the peninsula. So for us, it became really fun to talk about like the journey of like the underdog and how they were able to keep it neck and neck for two really young racers. I love the story yeah. of an underdog. During that last leg, you could hear the excitement in your voice. Oh. <laughs> it's like they were finishing up. You're like, they're sprinting. I was like, oh my God, I gotta watch. <laughs> We're watching our audit delay here, and we're we've got a few. Uh, you know, obviously we're in Marion Square, but we can see the the runners coming down King, and we see you go by. <laughs> Literally, y'all are hoisted up on the back of a truck. I mean, it's just it's something to see. It's all right. It's immaculate vibes. They always talk about this isn't just a race. This is an experience. So we, we kind of sound like a broken record in that sense. But for us, like, I wanted to make very clear to the racing community that, like, for us, how cool is it to be a part of, like, we're not going to try to pretend, like, we know this sport better than those that are elite at it. But to be involved in a way that was so unique and, and to talk about, like, hey, I didn't know that there was a science and technology that went into just running. So for us, like, you can hear the excitement in my voice because I'm like, I would have passed out three miles ago. Yo, you I've been saying that same thing all day. You certainly knew what you were talking about. You did your homework, though. You, you knew who you were talking about, and uh, you knew about, like, the experience of these runners. I mean, coming over, running in one of the biggest 10Ks in the country, it's so cool to see these elite runners and to see them perform. So the sport in itself, foreign. I, I don't want it to be a casual, but when we talk about the history of what yeah. this means to Charleston, for me, like, I, I grew up here my whole life. This is the third largest 10K in the country, the fifth largest street race. Like, how cool is that? Right in our back door, and you can tell what it means to the community. This is the biggest showing since pre-COVID, so you can kind of feel like this event's being restored in a big way. I mean, I love looking around. I mean, look, we've got the penguins. Hey, guys, come on over. We got some penguins here. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Banks Gaines. Baker Reese. You guys look great. Well, I was going to say, lovely you, you costumes. Ran in these, right? And we ran oh, yeah, in those. They're, we wet. Just wanna, they're wet. We just want to raise awareness for penguins. Um, just they're out there and we want more. <laughs> Thank you. You guys have so much fun today. Congratulations. Thank you. And celebrate. Keep run. Well, yeah. Have fun. Here. Yeah. All right. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, there's, so, there's a party going on. It's going to go on all day. We will send it over to commercial break. Stay with ABC News 4. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. We're back here at live at Marion Square with four women from Boston. Tell us your names. Norma. Diane. Carolyn. Wendy. And this is a tradition. I know this was your second year, Norma, but uh, the rest of y'all's first year running the Cooper River Bridge Run, what did you think? I thought it was one of the better races I've run in. I've run quite a few. And if you don't recognize, she's got the Boston Marathon jacket, the Covenant jacket. So you're clearly an experienced runner. And uh, we're glad to hear that you guys enjoyed it. It was it was phenomenal. And the weather was perfect. It couldn't have been a better day. Much, much better than the weather in Boston right now. <laughs> yes, no, we we're plowing on Friday. I know, we like to show off our, our weather to the yeah, Northeast. Yeah, you know, it came here. out, the sun came out the perfect time. It was yeah. like, oh, it was really chilly and then showed a beautiful face. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like um, running over the bridge, getting to the top? Talk about the wind up there. The wind was windy. I had to take my hat off and carry it. But it was a beautiful view. I loved being up there. And it was just so much fun with so many runners around you. It was yeah. great. It was yeah. great. Yeah, they, once you were up there, it was just so incredible being so high up there and just looking at the spires. And uh, yeah, it was breezy, but, um, but it was just so incredible. It was really awesome. And if somebody, did you take part in it last year, Norma? Um, it was three years ago that it took place. Okay. Well, how did that compare to this year? A little windier this year, but just as much fun. The yeah. expo is great. The party's great. Everything's nice about this race. Yeah, right. I will say it is a party here, and it's just getting started. Do you guys have big plans for the rest of the weekend? Um, well, we're gonna go do a little sightseeing and awesome. check out the food. Yep, check out <laughs> absolutely, absolutely the food. Yep. Well, we thank you guys so much for talking with us, and we hope you have a wonderful weekend in Charleston. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice. And congratulations. Oh, we got some more racers here. Yeah, come on right. in. Yeah. Did you guys run the race too? Yes. Come on in. What's your name? My name's Nyla. You... I'm Nazaya. And you guys just crossed the finish line? Yeah. Well, well, how was it? What was it like? Um, it was it was nice. It was um we, we do cross country, so it was like So you guys are yeah. experienced runners. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was fun, it was light. Um I was gonna say, you guys look like you like did not. Yeah, run. I was like, I was like, You're did they calm. run? <laughs> you guys are so like, you don't even look like you broke a sweat. Like this was nothing for you. Uh, we go to Ashley Hall, and the coaches are amazing. So we really learned how to like fast recovery, and it's it's really nice. It shows. Do you guys run the, the bridge often to to prepare for this, or is? Uh, we run the bridge for practice, so it really did help out a lot. That makes sense. Yeah, so you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys, is it, have you run it before, or is this your first year participating? Oh, uh, we had it. We've run it a lot. 14, so I'd say about 10, 11 times. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> to run this race 10 or 11 yeah. times. So what was it like compared to previous years? Um, I'd say because we were smaller, it was a little bit more difficult because we were younger. But as we get older, we just get faster and faster. What was your time? I got a... 58-52. Awesome. I think I got an hour and 10 minutes. Awesome. High five. Good all right, job. You guys are That's awesome. This looks so cool. They're like, oh, relax. We just run the bridge all the time. It's nothing. You guys look fantastic. Congratulations. Thanks for talking with us. And uh, party getting started yeah. here. Also a party at the finish line. Let's send it over to Scott Iceberg. All right, welcome back to the finish line. I just saw my favorite shirt of the day. It says, running late is my cardio. So I thought that was a pretty good shirt for the day. There's been a couple of funny ones, a couple of inappropriate ones that we're not going to show on TV. But I, I thought that one was my favorite one so far. All right, let's see. This guy is, oh, he's just uh, going no shirt. That's, uh, you know, that's kind of his option. All right, who do we have here running? Good picture, good picture. How was the race? Good morning. It was awesome. Did you have a great time? It was great. Awesome. Perfect. Well, go enjoy the rest of your day. Hold on, can I get in the selfie? Can I get in the selfie? All right, I'm going to get in the selfie. There we go. Nice. Tag, tag me in it. That's, that's what the kids are saying these days. Tag me in the selfie. Hey, how was the race? It was amazing. Thing, though I missed my son, he had a baby. Well, not my son had the baby, but the daughter-in-law had Wait, the like, baby. They had the baby while you were on the bridge? Well, not while I was on the bridge, but before we went on the run. And we came out here to run and together, my son and I, and shucks. So uh, what's the new grandchild's name? Navy Isles Francisconi. Awesome. And where is, where is the baby? East Cooper. East Cooper. Oh, that's yeah. awesome, right? So you could just go right back over and then see the baby. That's I all there is. 
Keep, a first time grandma? Are you a first time grandma? Uh, no, fourth. fourth time grandma. Not as exciting, but still pretty exciting. Awesome. Well, congratulations to you guys. New grandmas running the bridge. That's always pretty cool. Unfortunately, the sun. Another NC State fan. We got to go back. Another NC State. Doesn't hear me. Ear pods are in. Couldn't hear a thing I was saying. Wow. Pit. There we go. The pit. And we got the Delaware Blue. And, and we got the Florida Gators. Everyone's representing their teams at the finish line. There you go. Awesome. Hey, Georgia Tech and Clemson, the ACC, well represented today. Surf City Marathon. Always interesting to see the selfies. Can, can I get in? Can I get in a selfie? Let's get in. Let's get in. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we I go. Got, nice. Oh, Very good. He's got to be the tallest runner. All right. Hey, buddy. How old are you? Six. Six years old? And you ran the whole thing? Yeah. Are you, what are you, in kindergarten or first grade? Okay. First grade? Holy smokes. Where do you go to school? Charleston Day. That is so cool. Well, a six-year-old just ran this. All right. I'm going to send it to break right now from here at the finish line. Hey, you did it. You got over it. Welcome back to the official Cooper River Bridge Run live show on News 4. Welcome back to Marion Square. We are here with Jay and Melissa, who not only ran the bridge run, but you guys are getting married tonight. Congratulations! Congratulations. So many celebrations Woo. going on. How do you guys feel? Uh, we're tired, but really excited. Yeah. Very excited. This is a great day. Awesome. I love the outfits. Turn around. Let's yeah, see let's it. see. Groom, bride, and I love the this hair night, yeah. Looking good. Where are you guys getting married? Uh, the South Carolina Aquarium. Oh, Fantastic. beautiful. That's a great spot. Yeah. And what was the race like? You know, obviously preparation for tonight. 
Um, we, tr uh, we trained for a few months. It was all right. Um, Alabama was a little hilly. So, um, That's where you guys live. Yep. Yeah. So um, we uh, got a good amount of training in, and we were able to get over it. Fantastic. <laughs> Ten of our friends ran with us who are going to be at the wedding tonight, so we had a good team cheering for us. Oh, and great. it's a beautiful day, and Charleston's a beautiful city. So. It's so funny. I would ask, like, what are you most looking forward to at the after party? I, but you I guys know, are ready to have your own after party. <laughs> Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Really hey. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks, guys, so much. Thank you. All right, have a good day. And I believe we're going to send it over to Scott. Over to Scotty at the finish line. Hey, Scott. All right, welcome back out to the finish line. Very colorful. I like the outfit. Where did where did we pick up the outfit? Where do we pick it up? No, stop. Online shopping these days. It's the new fad. Everybody's getting into it. All right, who else do we have here as we start to wrap up our coverage? Are you okay, bud? I see a little limp. Are you all right? We're in four. Walked a half. We're in the last half. Finish strong. Kurt, regardless, Cooper River Brown John. That's what we do. There you go. Charlestonians, baby, come on. There you go. You make it over. The toughest ones are out there. We were gonna stop at the last at mile six, and we just we said nah. We just ran all the way. He through. just made it all the way. Yeah. No injuries. Yeah. Everyone's good. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. make it straight to the bar. It's like yeah. two blocks down the road. We're good to go. <laughs> all right, guys. Everybody enjoying their end. Are you a, a birthday queen? Uh oh, I'm not gonna ask you how old you are. But was it a good birthday run? It was great. It was great. My first six mile in a couple of months since I broke my ankle. Beautiful. Well, happy birthday. Go and enjoy your celebration. As I like the hair. Is that an everyday thing or a bridge run thing? It changes with the season. Changes with the season. That's fantastic. I thought it was your natural color. Well, I guess it's my eyes. Oh, there you go. This is awesome. Have a good day. Thank right, you. Thanks. Have a great day. Everybody having a good time. The power bar. The power bar is the key to finishing the race, right? Look at you go. It is. After getting up that bridge, coming down, a little power bar, a little water, it gets you through downtown in a celebratory style. Now I gotta go find me a beer. Oh, there you go. This guy has the right idea. Family selfie, can I take it with you guys? Sure. All right, we're gonna take a family selfie. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I messed up your phone. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I think they're telling me to wrap things up right now. If they're telling me that, it is so hard to hear down here. But if we are wrapping things up, let's wrap it up. I want to thank all of our great photojournalists who did an amazing job today getting all of the video that you saw of this. It's just a spectacle. So much fun to see Charleston come together for the Cooper River Bridge Run. Have a great day, everybody.